I think I'm live, even though this is deadly serious. It's not lively serious. If it was lively serious, there'd be balloons and confetti. There'd be neon lights and bright colors. This is deadly serious. Do you see all the skulls? That Because skulls mean death. And this is a deadly serious channel update. It's, uh, it's, there's no... No joking. This is, uh, this is gothic, is how gravely serious is. Damn it. I could have said gravely serious and had little gravestones of... Damn it! Yeah, well, you know, you know, y'all, there's no one in here anyway, so everyone probably missed that. So, uh, welcome to the, uh... Well... Welcome to the Gravely Serious channel update. There's a gravestone underneath the thing. Boy, what a weird technical glitch going on up there on the top. Oof. Damn. If only you could see the great gravestone that says Gravely Serious up at the top. Because I'm a genius. Uh, so, what's up? Uh, before we get started with the stream, I just wanted to share. Uh, what's up? Uh, I uh, am working on a couple things right now. Uh, the next video that goes up goes up should be um, Earthrise Optimus, followed by 3-0 Premium Bumblebee. And uh, I also have a... Tw I did a Twitch stream, and then I got an archive, and I, I put it on here on Listed. It's ready to go, but I want the next thing I, that I put up to be Transformers-related, just as for my own edification. Uh, but then I, I got a thing that is sort of timely, and, and it's it's messed up everything, so uh, we're gonna we're going to do this stream... And then I'll get back to all the Deadly Serious things. Anyway, that's the Deadly Serious... The Deadly Serious channel update is literally what I'm working on. Uh, which is... Which is you, you see him over there. He's, uh, he's exposing his left breast uh, for all of you right now. Uh, and, then, and then up over here you can see a, a very good boy's um, left foot right there. Those, those two are uh, what we're we're dealing with at the moment just checking the chat hello logos minor wesley robinson g makes 93 uh ad Roth, vamp writer wooga benjamin shore john hanford holly vn holy vn baltan two not just one uh a load of hooplo oh no uh cello mellow welcome everyone to the deadly serious channel up to i'm building lego as you're doing this thanks damn it uh <laughs> Anyway, uh, I got I, I got a, a, a this is a this is a sample. This is a this was a, a provided sample um, of Wave Five of Transformers TCG. This was provided by um, I was about to say provided by Hasbro, and technically it is it is provided by Wizards of the Coast, who is owned by Hasbro. So technically, I'm talking about their Papa Bear. When I say, anyway, it's hash, what is it, I have a, I have a letter somewhere around here. Not, not from this. Another video that's coming up very soon that I wanted to put up after Earthrise Prime for my own, uh, rhythm is that, um, Hasbro provided BotBot's golden game, gamer golden box. I have a whole video, this is a fun video I shot, I have to still edit it, but that was all, I put the whole thing, to, that's coming up too. Uh, what's up? Just for everyone's information, uh, I fell asleep twice yesterday for four, somewhere between two to four hours at a time, twice or three times. Anyway, I slept for a long time in the afternoon yesterday, and then I woke up around around 10 p.m. So I've I've been awake since 10 p.m. and and then I decided that I would like to not fall asleep again until closer to the evening. Uh, and I thought, what a great way to, to um, maintain consciousness than to live stream a thing that showed up today, uh, brought here by a courier, uh, straight straight to my location. Uh, those little bot bots, by the way, a little, little hint. This one's excellent, because this one... Y'all want to see something screwed up? This is supposed to be s'mores, right? But uh, y'all want to see some just... Like, look at this. Look at this. These are on ball joints. I, well, like, how else do you take this? Huh? What else would you do? 
when faced with with this scenario? Huh? A lot of people are going to be real ready to say, "Oh, oh, that that internet personality evangelist. How? What lewd actions was he taking on this? This is it was right here. I didn't even have a chance to do anything about this." Uh, the, the bot bots are getting more fetish as they go on. So we're going to uh, get going on these cards. I'm going to uh, cut this saran wrap, shrink wrapping, so that you know that I did not tamper with this box uh, before I uh, I opened it. <laughs> I don't think the blade was even in the plastic for half of that. I was, I was like, I'm just going to cut the plastic on this thing. Oh, yeah. You know what's exciting to me? Uh, is it feels like it's been uh, 14 months since I had I, I looked at anything to do with Transformers TCG. It's actually I, I was looking at spoilers last month, but it feels like 100 years. So I'm excited to open this because I don't remember half the cards that are in here. So genuine reactions. Uh, are afoot. I'm gonna be like, they put headmasters in here? Uh, Barricade64, how do I feel about premium B versus deluxe B? Is it an upscale? Is there a lot more going on? They are. Hang on. Can I do this without messing everything up? They're completely different toys. Like, completely different. Like, like you push the button again. Uh oh. All right, if I reach in behind his his breast, I can't do it blind, but his boobs turn on. Uh, his hands are posable. There's a, a, an extra uh, swiveling piece on the thigh to get the, the bumper bit out of the way. Um, this is like, like this, the DLX is still a lot more like a Sentinel piece than this is, but this is like the really good premium scale stuff they've been doing for Transformers things, where it's like ratchet joints in the hips and things. I, I really like this. Uh, I gotta still mess with him some more. I was I, He's full of LR44s. That's the story on him. Lots of breast action on the stream. We didn't even open a pack yet. What do you think? What do you think is in these in these packs? Breastmasters aren't till wave seven. Everyone knows that. So let's get going. Uh, I'm gonna sort cards into piles in front of me uh, while while I go, and I think I'm just gonna pile all the characters and, and let uh, Primus sort them out uh, later. Now I am hype. I watched three minutes of Aaron Axsmith's stream, and there's something I'm really hype about, all right? Because over here, you know, yes, we don't even get Transformers advertisements anymore. It's straight-up Magic the Gathering advertisements, but this is blank on both sides. Fifth, it took, it took to wave five. We got the perfect filler card once again. These white cards, I've been making tuck boxes out of these for my print-and-play games. Holy Jiminy Cricket. Uh, I saw Wreck and Rule in here. Uh, some cool folks uh, who play Transformers cards as well on YouTube. Uh, super rares I want the most. I want Night Racer. A hundred million percent. Or the... I, um, I always forget his name. But the other Decepticon one. The Jet, who, whose name doesn't matter because he's a living function. Uh, you know his name. Fire, Trigger, Crotch, Blaster. Swing. Mock. That's his name. Uh, anyway, let's see what I got. And that ain't that ain't a bad swing. Autobot Nautica uh, Zbody uh, as my first pull. That's a rare on the first pack. We're just coming out of the gates. We're just swing. P -p 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 hey Hoopla, look who I got. Look who look who I got. I forgot she's a rare. So it's not like I can say, oh, you're certainly gonna get her. Uh, hope I hope you get her. Hoopla Hoopla likes Nautica. Um, so hey, rare rare on the top. And an uncommon, we got, uh, I always forget which one Flameout goes with, but he goes with Top Spin or Twin Twist. Um, Wesley Robinson is representing Powered by Primus. It's just your name is not Wesley Powered by Primus, so it, it didn't jump straight into my mouth. Wreck and Rule just, in, like, rammed into my mouth immediately. Uh, amazing index cards for your classroom, too. Yeah, these things, Windsweeper! Thank you, John Hanford. <laughs> Uh, anyway, hey, if you're watching and you don't know the cards, here's the new gimmick for this wave, and 
Uh, I do remember this part of, of my feelings about this. It's a gimmick, but it is not a gimmick that is... Uh, it is neither pointless, nor is it power creeping other things out of the game, I think. I haven't kept up with a whole lot of gameplay people have been doing with proxies. It sounds like... Like, actually, it doesn't sound like these are particularly doing something that's crazy. It sounds like Sky Shadow is doing something crazy, and I really hope I pull Sky Shadow parts, because uh, that's all I caught. I haven't kept up with a lot, because time has passed me by a whole lot. But the way that these things work, this does not have a, a bot mode, it has a body mode. Uh, this has a bot mode and a head mode. Titan Masters in head mode, they always begin underneath uh, one of these, uh, specifically uh, on the alt mode. Uh, of a thing that has a body mode. So this is just chilling out like this when you start the game. And then when you transform... There you go. Uh, so you don't get a matching head with a body, which I don't really care about too much because this does make the uh, limited formats more interesting. Um, specifically, though, the limited formats that I... I've, over time, I'm, I've kind of become snobby. I, I only, I really like Draft, and I think Draft was way more fun than Sealed. <laughs> uh, but this, you know, this this does stuff for Draft. There's two-pack Turbo as well, which is fun. But that Draft we've done around here, that's, that's been real fun. Anyway, I'm going to start putting these down. And uh, let's see what the battle cards are. GBX93, you bought a Warbot Defender for 45 bucks because you rewatched the review. That That is an old video. Thank you for checking that out. Hoops, I hope we can draft against you. I'm going to say it here, because uh, Hoop, Hoopla... Well, you haven't been streaming, but Josie's been streaming, and you've been part of those streams. The thing, the thing I've been saying to Hoopla on one of those streams, 2020 will be a good year if I see friends who live in the same city as me, like Hoopla, in person before 2021. And I am not willing to take big risks, and, and as far as I know, neither is Hoopla, so we're hoping that we can do some of, some of that drafting stuff. Anyway... Uh, what's up, Silver League? Uh, I miss more people coming in. Arbit Arbitrary Hero! That guy, Kevin Sig, the Madman. Others. Uh, Alright, take it easy, wreck and rule. Uh, take take care of getting them groceries. Uh, yeah, Baltan, drafting is fun. RJ is spying on me? I, I was trying to... Uh, I don't mean to keep dragging this out. RJ had a, had a tech... Um, in one of your play videos, and I tried to start applying that um, in real life here when I'm playing, which is uh, if, if someone says, hey, you want to cut my deck, and you cut the deck, and you leave a card behind, as you tend to do, you say, oh no, that's your choice. You choose where that goes, top or bottom. You, know, you, play, you, 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 you put it in their court. Anyway, uh, common, hold down, secret action. Uh, when someone defends, they get tough four, and it's an orange pip if you are a tank in tank mode. Well, if you have the tank tag up. This is one of the other new things, is pips that they... Yeah, RJ, it's your special tech. I, it's a friggin'... That's that's a good special tech. Uh, these pips, they... this. So if you, if you uh, play this card, or you flip this card, it is an orange pip. But it doesn't give you plus one attack unless you have a tank tag um, sticking out. Uh, Lima Limacello, you want to get in the TCG, don't know where to start. There are way, There are places to start. I'm going to go through this pack, and then I'll tell you. Remind me if I don't. Disassemble, another common. Uh, black and green, I love those pips. Scrap any weapon or armor. Its owner draws a card. Green pip scrapping, I remember really enjoying. I remember. I played in March. It's not like it was 100 years ago. Precision fire, uh, black, orange, another pip combo I like. Action, choose a mode. Do a damage to each character in that mode. This is some fun. I, I have been real salty. Locally, Hoopla was running um, the... Uh, the Decepticon Micromaster Patrol who are all jets with the, the leader who's insane. And uh, I got real salty because we mathed out that mathematically that team is possibly just broken as of Wave 4. Wave 5 has all this fun stuff to to make Tailwind go, not go away necessarily, but to make Tailwind's life hard. And I really enjoyed all of these kind of reveals. Uh, Crystal of Power, first piece of art I think we saw, of original art for the game that we saw um, from this wave. Um, also, yeah, Arbitrary Heroes got you covered, Lemon Limicello, uh, for some info as well. I need to... Actually, Cameron, I gotta bug you about how to play Octagon, because I'm... My Octagon still only has images from Wave 1, and I gotta do something about... Because about, I don't know where my webcam went. This is my phone, and if I try to play webcam with this, I just don't think it's really gonna work very well. Uh, because it's all on the one little monitor, and I'm gonna... My neck... 
I don't like craning. I like looking away from it a lot. Anyway, uh, Crystal of Power is a weapon armor. Uh, gives you plus three, plus two. And whenever the upgraded character battles that is attacks or defends, this goes away. Um, Black Pip. Triangulator. Uh, oh yeah, I like this because it's a green pip. You can put three on onto one character or in, three into one utility slot, and it's stackable focus. I love focus. Uh, and Intrusion Countermeasure Software is a very short card name. Um, if an opponent's card would cause you to scrap one or more cards from your hand during your uh, their turn, you draw two cards instead. More fun, just more fun stuff. Lots of uh, lots of lots of thinky cards coming out in this wave. Which is going to be a mess when I, whenever I start playing uh, these properly because I, I'm, maybe when I'm not sleep deprived, I'll be easier to do to do thinky stuff. Um, anyway, what I was going to say, the ways to start playing this game as of Wave Five, which launches literally tomorrow, um, depending on on your location. If there are folks who can just play. Go and grab, like, two packs each at your friendly local gaming store. Open them and use them and just play against each other. If you want to be a little more um, structured, get the starter set with uh, Bumblebee Megatron, uh, Windblade, and someone else. Uh, Starscream. Uh, the second starter set is a really nice way to just walk through a lot of the mechanisms of the game. If you want to just, like, start spending money, and it's not, like, hard Magic the Gathering money necessarily if you're in the States... If you like, if you think you're gonna buy a box of something and you want to just like get right in this game and, and get staples and stuff, Energon Edition gives you a box of Wave One, which has a lot of really core cards in it, and it gives you four um, pretty useful characters and two kind of like it's it's fun to mess around with them characters uh, that are that are you know rare and ish. Um, so there's. There's a lot of ways to go. If you just want to buy like a booster box and not the fancy weird Energon Edition thing, um, the Siege boxes I think have a lot of fun in them, and you get MicroMasters who are, uh, if you just want to start playing around with deck building, they're kind of a fun way to go. But also, if this is a good place to jump in, I got no idea. I'm I'm, I'm about to open my second pack. This stream's only going to take about four hours, so uh, you know, get ready for it. Uh, you think that the Wave One Star is better for the Teach? I found the Wave Two Starter. I just every time I've taught with it. It's like every single base mechanic presents itself in order, uh, no matter how I shuffle the cards. I don't know, it just it, it flows so well for me. And I saw the word wind. I, that's wing. Wing span. Not wind. I thought it was the super rare I wanted. Uh, this is one of the Decepticon clones. This is a common. Uh, when you scrap an upgrade off his bot mode, you put it under him. He's a specialist. And then when you flip to this mode, draw a card, and he has plus one defense for every card under him. There are some fun... There's some fun things uh, that I, I, I can't remember who hypothesized them when I saw them. Some fun stuff to do with this fella as far as like piling cards under him and stacking defense. And we got a stratagem, another new thing uh, for this wave. Uh, so stratagems are like an extra star you can pop onto a character to give them another ability. This is a rare stratagem. This is for one of my favorite underused super rares, uh, Wave 2 Windblade. And it is, I think, my least favorite stratagem for a, a previous wave character because i think that this is boosting stuff on windblade that doesn't matter as much as other effects could have mattered uh I, I don't think her stats needed any help whatsoever especially for an extra star but you know now i got it so i can i can give this a try see what she's like to run with that um granted the stratagems have been easy to run like we were playing with some stratagems just like with the JPEG uh, on our phone. Um, that's a super interesting. It totally lets you play it in a new way. <laughs> I, I apologize if I am applying a slash S that's not actually supposed to be there. <laughs> it's when you said super interesting. <laughs> really, I heard it. I heard it. If it is actually really interesting, then like, hey. Oh, Tony, there's, there's not that many of these that involve old characters, and I, and if I remember correctly, most of them are, like, Wave 2 unloved super rares, so it's, you know, some of the least expensive ones to get. <laughs> uh, I really like them, though. I really like the Volcanicus one, and uh, there was one other one I tried. The Springer one uh, I had some fun with. Um, Kevin Sig, yeah, that's what I was talking to Cameron about. Cameron knows all about the, the, o the, the I was about to say OCGM, the Octagon. Um... I played, I played around with it and made some decks in it back in Wave 1, and then 
kept saying at next week I'll get back to it, and that I think that's since what 2019, 2018. Uh, so we got mission briefing. Uh, draw a card for each character uh, on the battlefield that you have in bot mode or body mode. Camion crash. That's a good name. Uh, do a damage to one of your characters. Do two damage to an enemy. Yeah, let's up. Friggin' Tailwind. We're gonna friggin' scouting mission. Do a damage to any character. Its owner draws two cards. Hey, let's up. Tailwind. Uh, Lucky Dodge. If one of your characters defends, would take an odd amount of attack damage. They instead take no damage. Uh, this stuff. I gotta. I wanna mess with this stuff some more. It's these uh, these odd even ones. I wanna start like having a gamble deck with them and like the Omnibots. Tripwire. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Tripwire. Do a damage to an enemy. If they have five stars or fewer, tap them so you can start attacking them. And then you have five stars or fewer, like uh, like like Tailwind, uh, Plasma Horns, um, one plus plus one weapon upgraded character attacks. You flip battle cards. You flip at least four white pips. Scrap this if you didn't. Uh, upgraded character gets plus one until end of turn for each white pip you flipped. More white pip deck tech. The white pip deck that was at the Energon Invitational. I still want to try building it. I always meant to, and then I I forgot. Um, yeah, the poor, the poor Wave 2 Combiner team suffering for the sins of Tailwind. <laughs> I have a thing about Tailwind. Madman, where's the Omega Supreme Ultra Rare? I'm working on it. Uh, we got Autobot Gears! This is a common, uh, I actually forgot if he was a common or a super rare, and I was like, I don't think he's a super rare, but I quietly and smoothly went to check. More like Tailwind, oh god. So when you flip to this truck mode, uh, move an upgrade from an enemy to another enemy. I like that, because that's just like, hey, screw you. Um, when you flip to bot mode, return an upgrade on an enemy to its owner's hands. This just messes with upgrades. Uh, I remember in previews, I thought this looked like it would be super fun. I'm sure, like like I said, a lot of folks have been just playing with proxies uh, while in quarantine, especially those who have been able in lockdown to play with friends, be it over webcam or in person. So I don't, I have, I don't know if this turned out to be like super crazy. A lot of my hypotheses are just me saying... Uh, you know, this seems like a fun idea. I like playing. I like playing casual. Um, a lot with this game still, and uh, I'm always trying to remind myself how much fun I have with those things. Uh, casual, our our little popper format thing we tried. Uh, oh, this is uh, that's not who I pulled, but it's uh, it's Beachcombers Stratagem. Uh, for an extra star, you can have one extra star of actions and one extra star of upgrades. So basically. You're paying a star to get two. So this is by playing this, you are just getting a free star by committing a star onto Beachcomber. The math makes sense eventually. Um, I have to put the stratagems in a separate little pile. By the way, I hope you all are staying safe and fed and supplied and well. Uh, and if you're not, then you're still doing your best, and that's what matters. Uh, I need to remember to hydrate. Hey, that's Windsweeper. Decoy Flares! Uh, when the upgraded character defends, you can scrap this, and then they will get plus two to under turn, otherwise they just have plus one. That's cool. I don't remember seeing this one, but I like the idea of this. Like, you get a middling effect, or you scrap it for a slightly more middling, or slightly less middling effect. Uh, seems like a... I, I like the idea of having to do a thing. Blade Flurry... One of your characters gets plus two. If they have a weapon, they get plus four. No pips. So I'm sure that's, you know, balanced it. But I thought on site that this card was really cool. Uh, again, like, it's probably... I don't know if, if it has worked into some kind of high meta stuff, but I like the idea of this. Um, especially if that weapon's grenade launcher, because it's like, all right, I get a plus two. Or I get a pl <laughs> plus eight. <laughs> uh, with the grenade launcher, which goes away after this. Came in crash again. Yes, thank you. Um, to pause, General Kenobi, Kevin Siggy, out of Coke Zero. No, no, I've, I've got some, but, uh, I still drink water, too. Um, Uncommon, Fusion Boror, uh, Pierce 3 weapon, uh, when the upgrade, oh, Pierce 3 plus 3 when they attack, scrap this after battle. Uh, I like this one, too, because it's grenade launcher, but Pierce, um, I don't know, they're probably not... Oh, third best weapon in the game right now? This is? Okay, because I thought it would be. Because I, I, I like a lot of the cards, be they good or bad, when it's like, hey, this is that card, but, like, it's instead of in this lane, it's over here. And I, I just, I, it feels to me like filling in gaps. And I, I like this one because I was like, yeah, it's the Pierce Grenade Launcher. And I, I figured that plus three Pierce three, therefore just three, basically, 
uh, one shall stand, one shall fall. Um, I figured that would probably be pretty cool. I mean, not literally, but you know, it's, it's three. It's it's three damage that unless they have a pierce defense, they can't do anything about. It. This was one of our preview cards, which made me briefly wonder if Combiner Wars Sky Rain was in this set. Uh, Hollow Matter Projector, uh, upgraded character can't take non-attack damage from your opponent's cards and gets plus one. I have really good feelings about this. I don't know if it played out, but just the fact that it is a green pip and gives you plus one defense and gives you an effect that I think is pretty cool uh, made me excited about this card. Uh, I, I also like the idea of putting this onto um, Combiner uh, Motor Master. He's the only Motor Master in the game. But, you know, putting this together with his uh, thingamy about, like, he's the only one who can take non attack damage. Uh, and the rare is counter espionage, name an action, look at your opponent's hand, and each face down enemy secret action, your opponent scraps each each card from among them with that name. Another one that seems like it's, you know, poor combiners. <laughs> um, okay, Cameron says, it's a strong sideboard right now with Horrible and Sky Shadow running around everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I figured um, that, like, this was the thing that made me really into this, because I saw this and this, and I was like, that makes sense. But then, like, also plus one, like, it's a little thing, but some about uh, something about the plus one on that, like, made me gleeful. Because uh, it's like I got, it's like I got a hamburger, and then they're like, hey, also the fries, uh, there's cheese on them. And it's like, hey, I didn't even ask for cheese. I don't need cheese, but thank you. Uh, we got Quake, uh, Decepticon Quake, when a tank. If this is the only character you have on the battlefield, it gets plus two attack, so he's a 6-3. Uh, and then when he's a body, if this or another character is KO'd, do a damage to each other character. So this guy is like, screw y'all, and I want to be the last one standing. I want to try building a thing with, um, somewhat around this dude, uh, which is just like, again, maybe a real gambly deck of like, what if we just spray the board with damage and hopefully Quake is alive at the end? Uh, I like that idea. And uh, hey, check it out, I got Nautica's head. Uh, Parsec, bold one. Um... By the way, the heads, uh, when the body dies, then the head becomes a character. Uh, thus, uh, there's a fun idea on the real base level with these where, um, if this is your last character, and then they wipe your last character, no, I still get one more turn. I still get one more, hey, Counter Espionage is the 007 card? I didn't even notice that. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't have to bring it up here to look, but I wanted to, you know that thing streamers do when they're like, these are where my eyes are. Uh, also, I wish I could lock the focus. I really wish I could. But I can't. It's doing a good job of keeping up. When it's just a camera doing video on this phone, I found you can hold your finger down on something and it'll lock focus to that point, which uh, made me real happy. Why am I opening this? I still have a... This is the thing I... This isn't new. This is a problem I've had every time I've ever streamed this card game is forgetting to open the battle card packs while espousing that to me they are the most exciting thing uh, with the characters still being exciting as well. It's just that these are the thing that you build actual decks out of and I always forget about them. Um, all right, uh, Cameron says, Titan Masters matter. Getting one more swing really changes the tempo. I was hoping so. I was hoping so. And it's, by the way, it's nothing against everyone who has been doing gameplay. Um... It's just been a, there's Transformers TCG, toys, and um, a lot of video game stuff that isn't basically a couple of specific Giant Bomb series have all kind of like fallen off to the side for me over the last two months because I went tunnel visioning in on uh, so soloable uh, board games. Uh, and that kind of took over my brain. Between that and the immense amount of um, exertion it seems to cause me to uh, mask up and go out for groceries. Uh, I lost track of a lot of stuff. And then I saw Stefan on the Facebook group just saying, like, does Sky, does Sky Shadow need to be banned, or do they need to unban Pressy Advantage? And then I was like, w what happened? What what happened while I wasn't looking? <laughs> hi, hi, Henry. Bye. <laughs> uh, anyway, Disassemble. Uh, I think we talked about this one already. Yeah, scrap anything and they draw a card. I like that. Precision Fire, we've seen. Hit and Run. Uh... Flip one of your characters from bot mode to alt mode. Move a counter from it to an enemy in alt mode. I like move cards. They aren't awesomely powerful, but I really like how they are different. I still like, I should say, how they are different than direct damage. And I like seeing another one. Uh, second triangulator. If I get a play set, I'm going to be hype. Conversion expertise. This is the rider kick uh, card. 
It's tracks being a cool tracks. Utility that gives you an alt mode tough one and in bot mode bold one. I, I like these white pip utilities a lot in general. Um, so I, I remember liking this one when I saw it. Cameron, like print and play stuff. Uh, some print and play stuff, also some others. I started looking into a Vital Lacerda game, and if you know what that is, then that's pr it's like, oh, you're looking into incredibly difficult solo games. Or not difficult, but heavy and expensive. Um, a rare is Speed Trap, uh, white green. When your opponent plays an action, it's the second action they played. Scrap it, it has no effect, and they can't play actions this turn. I remember when I saw this, I was like, I guess this is like a delayed, uh, daring escape counter, and I don't know if that's what it ended up being, or if people even care about it, but uh, I don't know, I like I like that its effect exists. Um, I keep moving these now, I gotta I gotta put, okay, we're gonna put that over there. You can't see what I'm doing, I moved some stuff, then we're gonna take the white one, put it here. Uh, we got his stratagem before, and the character we got is Beachcomber! So, uh... When you flip to alt mode, name a card, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's the named card, draw three cards. Uh, he's a common. He has focus one. This is one of those ones that uh, would be fun to run with Shockwave. I still really like Shockwave. I don't know if anyone still messes with him that much. But I felt like he was getting some love in this wave. And potential uh, to potential friends to hang out with. Beachcomber always felt like one. Anyone where it's like, you know, do stuff about the top card of your deck and you always know what it is. Uh, I like Ratbat with Shockwave as well. Uh, that stuff is fun to me. And then we got another stratagem. Uh, this one is for our weaponizer pal, six gun. Uh, more guns. <laughs> Once per game, when one of your weaponizers in upgrade mode is put into... It's not, it's not for six gun, it's for a weaponizer, I should say. He's just on it. Basically, it is a resurrect for a weaponizer. Um, and that's that's kind of cool. Once per game, when, when a weaponizer in upgrade mode is put into KO, return it to the battlefield, upgrading one of your characters. So, once per game, if someone disarms or scraps a weaponizer weapon, you get to get it back. Uh, it's a one, it's a once per game that costs you a star. I think that's fair. Um, at least, you know, it feels fair to me, but uh, I'm glad it exists. I was going to say at some point that um, I might have said it already. A couple months ago when we were playing around, a lot of those, like, stratagems for existing, pre, like, pre-Wave 5 characters, you could kind of just use them by writing down what they do and adding a star cost to your deck. So I had a lot of I had a lot of fun with like Stratagem Volcanicus. It makes Volcanicus actually I, I'm not gonna say like work work, but it makes Volcanicus like on par with King Starscream, which means like fun, super tight thematic deck that has a hard counter. But if you play it, hey, you know what you know what you're playing. Uh, hold the line, secret action when someone defends. Repair one damage from the defender. It can't take more attack damage this battle. The number of stars the attacker has. Tailwind, uh, Brass Nux, Goals, uh, Bold 2 Utility. I like the utilities that give these kind of effects. Um, yeah, he becomes a fun casual deck with a stratagem, that's right, yeah. Um, because King Starscream is similar. Um, King Starscream and, and Volcanicus are both decks where it's like, this has a trick, if you are playing super hard, you can probably counter it, but if we're playing cash... I'm like a boss fight. I'm like a level two boss fight in an eight level game. And it's kind of fun being a, you know, like a king goon. Um, Handheld Blaster is back. I forgot this is a reprint. I like the new art. Uh, double pips back into limited formats, am I right? No one is excited about that, but I thought it was neat. High five. Yeah, they're doing it. Choose two characters. If they share a trait, repair a damage from each one. More repair. More of that fun. Um... Repair is, is I, I think it still isn't ridiculous, but I, I was liking Repair in Wave 4 as, a, as just a thing to do, um, to, like, nullify an opponent's turn, basically. Uh, concealing Contrails, two black, but only one of them uh, counts as a plus pierce if you're a jet. Oh, we got another one on this one, hooray. Um, when one of your characters defends, you flip battle cards. Uh, defender gets plus one defense for each black pip flipped. I like it, especially if we're doing, like, pierce jets. Gonna have actual defense up. I grabbed two packs. I'm just slick. I can't help it. Hydrogenated. They stole that high five thing from Double Dragon Neon. All I know about Double Dragon Neon is that Skeletor is in it. I think. Uh, who is it? Okay, because there's so much in these packs now, there's no, like, cool way to reveal it, so we just pull down to see the character. Twin Twist! Is that whose head I got? I think that's whose head I got. <laughs> I already forgot. Uh, and Kreb! 
Classic Transformers character, Kreb. Oh boy, I'm hype about Kreb. Uh, I'm curious, I'm assuming not, because the collation for that probably would be more work than it's worth. But in people who have been opening boxes, has it been, for those of you who have been watching those and keeping up, has it been a thing where people are consistently grabbing the heads for character bodies they've pulled, or is, is this just confirmation bias for me up until now so far? Uh, Twin Twist is an uncommon. When you flip to drill mode, uh, pierce three to let it turn, because it's the drill that pierces. Um, <clears throat> when you flip to body mode, your opponent chooses a character and does damage to it. If you flip to this uh, mode two times, then you do a damage to each enemy uh, two times this turn. Let's take a look and see what he looks like with the horrible head. Eh, that kind of matches. Well, good for you, Twin Twist. You got into the card game, finally. Uh, let's see what we got here. Huh. I actually brought some... I brought one of my print and plays. I was going to show off at the end of this if I still had some energy. Uh, hold the line. We talked about that one. Mission briefing. We've talked about that one. Emergency barricade. Orange pip armor with plus three that goes away after it defends. So it's like a grenade launcher, but armor. Um, which, I guess I've said this a billion times, those, those kind of effects, I like them. Um, Lucky Dodge, talked about it. Supporting Fire, uh, if one of your characters gets plus one, no, one of your characters gets plus one to lend a turn, it can attack untapped characters as though they were tapped. Tailwind, and a Trilithium Shield, uh, it's an armor. When defending against a Decepticon, they get plus one uh, in addition to the plus one, I'm assuming. Uh, if they defend against a Decepticon leader, uh, reduce that leader's pierce by three. Megatron. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is neat. Um, my, the impression I've gotten is that this does not balance out some of the boosts that Decepticons got in this wave. Uh, but, I don't know, I got one. I, I'm guessing it just goes in the sideboard. Unless, well, I mean, it sounds like everyone's running Sky Shadow, so I wonder if that helps at all, except I think Sky Shadow does direct damage? I can't remember. Um... He's getting a little bit warm in here because that's the city I live in. So I was trying to not have the noise, but the noise is coming back. My apologies, everybody. Excuse me for a second. I have to lean over this light and push a button. Whoa! I'm coming back. Ah. The gentle hum. I'm right by, I'm right by my window air conditioner, I should mention. Uh, Who did we get? Gears? I got a dupe? Already? Well, this I have 24 hours to say this is an impossible card to purchase right now. See if I can hawk it to someone for a nickel. Um, first dupe. First dupe. It had to happen. I'm glad it was Gears, because you know what? If someone's going to be a dupe, it's going to be Gears. He's going to try to grind somebody. The stratagem I've got goes with Outback, who's also in the set. Uh, for an extra star, when you upgrade when you upgrade out back, you draw a card, then scrap a card. I don't know if that's really incredible, but I can't remember what out back actually does. Uh, this this dupe needs to go somewhere else. Put you over here, right by my knife. Um, remember remember a million years ago when Wave Two came out and we were like, are the folding cards going to be okay? And I just slapped one around for a hundred years. Oh. Good times. Um, about to talk about how I laminated a card, but that's that's unrelated. Decoy flares. Uh, I think we talked about that. Blade flurry. Uh, Kenobi emergency barricade. Just saw a junk cannon. Some more of that detritus tech. Uh, orange pip weapon. When you put this or another upgrade on an upgraded character or on the upgraded character, gets plus two to end of turn. So. It's a weapon that does nothing, but gives them something to end a turn. Oh, if you do this with Blade Flurry, that's a thing. That's plus six, and then hopefully you draw a better weapon next turn. I don't know. Uh, turn the Tide. Choose an equal number of Autobots and Decepticons. For each of those Autobots, move a damage counter from it to one of the other Decepticons that you haven't moved a counter to this way. That seems really... This, it's like one step slightly more complicated than I, I would like it to be. Um, but I do like the people who are in here, because if you look really carefully right there, nestled between Optimus Prime's thighs is uh, one of the absolutely canonical and known Cult of Spream members. 
Uh, those are random background Autobots and Cybertronians, I should say, not just Autobots, uh, who are sometimes in, in comics and stuff, you see people who are Supreme colored. Those are Supreme groupies. Uh, they, they are part of a cult. They, they look up to, um, you know, Cybertron's greatest hero and uh, paint themselves to look like him. Um, it's true. And we got Overrule. When your opponent plays a white pip action, scrap it, it has no effect. This just finishes off the set of the counter spells. Um, I think, if I recall correctly, no one really likes the counter spells all that much, but I do, so I'm glad that this exists. I probably would only run the one, but, uh, and it would only probably run with Shockwave. That's probably the only person I'd run the counter spells with in general, or anyone who lets me look at the top card. Um, and play secret actions. It gets more Shockwave. I would want to run it with Shockwave. I'm coming up with more reasons that are just Shockwave. I miss playing Shockwave. I'm looking forward to playing some Shockwave again. H Fangry! And Fangry's in the same pack. This, uh, this is basically a super rare. Let's take a moment. Hang on. I'm just, mm. I'm soaking it in. This beautiful moment. Uh, I know it. I know that it's him because they have the moon. It's it's uh, the two moon, two fangry. Ah, uh, oh, mmm, mmm. It tastes, mm, yeah, it tastes good even. Uh, so fangry, who has a beast tag, um, when fangry is attacking an enemy that has more stars than him, he gets bold too. And in body mode, when he's attacking or defending an enemy that has more fewer stars than him, he gets tough too. I remember. I think that we previewed this one. I think this is one of our preview, this is our preview character. Uh, I like the idea. Um, I like someone who is like, you kind of pick a mode and just leave them in that mode. Also, I love this, right? Because he's like this, it's like, hey, Fangry, transform. Oh, but the moon is still here! Ah, oh, so, mm. I like that the moon is still here! It's such a good idea. I can gush about that for a million years. Whoever did the art direction on this... Uh, is probably a genius uh, who recognizes that Yoda is an incredibly valuable character uh, to pop culture. Let's open weight. Caught myself. I caught myself. It was underneath the insert card and trying to hide from me. Uh, let's see. Handheld blaster. Mmm, that good tech. Precision fire. Decoy flares. There we go. Electro optical visor. Uh, blue pip plus one armor. When you put this on Decepticon, your opponent reveals their hand, chooses an Autobot card from it, and scraps that card. That seems really cruelly specific uh, to Decepticon hate cards. Hollow Matter projector again, and Spy Master's ruse. All right, Hoopla. We did it. Pulled one. <laughs> Hopefully, this is not a problem like um, the Merc. Decepticon card was, but uh, me and Hoopla are hype about this. Double black pip green. Uh, one of them is only a, a plus one pierce on a specialist, but you're gonna run this with Shockwave. Uh, you can play a secret action. What you see, you play this to play a secret action in a special way that, that this affects it. When the secret action you played off of this is face down, this card and that card aren't scrapped at the end of turns. This lets you actually set trap cards and lets you actually start piling up secret actions. Granted, you have to have one of these for each secret action that you're gonna do that with, and then this stays out of your deck until that secret action fires off. But it means that, technically, up to three secret actions in your deck when you have these with it, you choose when it ha I, Oh yeah, more thinking, more brain. More of that brain play. Um, Cameron says, so fun with Pounce. I can't remember what Pounce does, but hopefully I pull him. Uh, Griffman, that's just his gun with a drill stuck on the front of it. Yeah, that's um, the uh, Legends, the, the Takara Tomy release of, of this toy for Legends came with the drill, if I recall correctly. I might be wrong. I feel like he did, because I remember seeing, I think it was the drill I saw in the Chrome Dome colors. I own it, and I'm talking about it like I saw it somewhere. Beachcomber. I pulled you already too. It's the, these mini bot commons. It's like the commons are the ones I'm getting dupes of. Uh, and then we got a stratagem, wind charger stratagem. Uh, once per game, when wind charger attacks, and is your only character on the battlefield, gets plus three until end of battle. There was a combo with this someone talked about that seemed really cool. 
Um, and I forgot what Wind Charger does, which does not help me share that information very well. Cameron, I've played some games where Pounce is swinging base 13 attack using tough more uh, to find Spy Master's Ruse than defense uh, and Wayforce Skywarp to pull in more uh, secret actions in hand, plus two for each secret action down with Pounce. Oh yeah, he's a secret action boy. Ooh, that sounds fun. I want more Skywarps to be useful. So I'm also into it for that reason. Um, I still need to build a Kryn deck. Uh, noted colorist on uh, the Siege Onwards uh, Transformer CCG cards. Kryn uh, is a big fan of Mirage and Skywarp and uh, has a bunch of cards that uh, she's colored. And I was thinking, aside from the one for Triple Changers, technically there was a deck I was seeing that could come together and then I never got to put it together um, during Wave 4. And now I have infinite time, so I should try smacking that thing together. Uh, I gotta check the spreadsheet to see what else uh, has has Kryn credit. See if I can do the fully Kryn deck. Um, Wind Charger hits for seven on your first attack. Oh right, right, right. Because it's all out, like an all out attack. Anyway, uh, improvised shield. Another returning reprint with new art. I like this new art a lot. Uh, otherwise, no one seems to be happy that that this one and handheld are back. And I'm not going to say I'm I'm elated that they're back, but I like the new art on this one a lot, and I like the double pips are back in the limited format. Um, sharpened Talons, a green pip plus two weapon. No one likes this as far as I know. I actually do like this because it's a green pip and it's not just plus one. It's like, yeah, probably just for, for like casual limited, but whatever, that's still is valid play. This one is interesting to me just because it's it's like, that's that's sort of something, and that means you can fish it, you can just throw one in the deck. I don't know, I like this. Uh, hey, we are just talking about you. Third try, I've completed the triangulator triangle. We gotta, we gotta solve this. Crystal of Power, we've seen already. Ghost Shield, Invisible Fort Max. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, Fort Max. Fort Max. Yeah, I like he's in this set. Uh... Orange Pip Armor, plus three, play this only to replace an armor on a character that has no empty armor slots. An opponent's card would cause this to be scrapped. You can scrap an armor from your hand instead. That seems really cool. Uh, but we, hang on, we gotta make the, gotta make the triangle. Uh, you and you first uncommon I pulled this triangulator. <clears throat> Illuminati, Illuminati, Illuminati. Let's open another pack. All right, who are you going to be? Crankcase Data Collector. When you flip to truck mode, draw a card. Uh, when bot mode attacks and you have five or more cards in hand, it gets plus three till end of battle. Yeah, I like I like this one. That's just a nice... He, he's a mini game. He's he's like an even an even more self-contained little... Well, not self-contained. He's an even more straightforward mini game than the mini game Triple Changers. I'm, I'm happy about this. I think this is fun. Because uh, also, you know... 8-1 when you have enough cards in hand if you're in a card draw deck? I don't know. This is neat. One defense. He probably just dies, but I'm going to try him out in some. And we got a stratagem. We got the brawn stratagem resilience. Uh, when brawn defends, he gets plus damage or plus defense to end a battle equal to the attacker's bold, uh, which seems fun. Uh, a lot of data collecting firepower. Yes, that's correct. Huh. Came in Crash, we talked about you. Brass Knuckles, we talked about you. Scouting Mission, we talked about you. Junk Cannon, we talked about you. Enhanced Power Cell, that's still a fresh one. Uh, I don't mind seeing uh, Battle Card dupes because I really, I like, uh, I, if you have not watched any of these streams before or heard me talk about this game, I like to have six copies of every Battle Card because that's double play sets and that's just how I like to roll. So, especially early on, the more play sets I see coming together, a perfect box for me is like, a whole ton of play sets, but also singleton complete. That's the perfect box for me. Uh, so this is a Black Pip Utility. It gives plus three health. Oh yeah, I like this one when I saw it. More of these plus health things. Just like here. Have it. Um, also, it doesn't require a star count. It just can go on somebody. I also like that. And uh, Energon Mace goes with the uh, Trilithium uh, tr Trithilium Shield. I got it right. Um, blue pip weapon plus two. When the upgraded character attacks an Autobot, gets plus one, so it's a plus three. And if they're attacking Autobot leader, they get pierce three. And so, if 
if your Energon Mace hits your Trithelium Shield, it nullifies the Pierce 3, and nullif they nullify each other, each other's effects. They don't actually nullify each other's numbers. It's still a plus one weapon, but I don't know. I like the mirror of that to a certain degree. It's, uh... It's, it's neat. It's a capital N neat. It's the kind of neat where, like, there's things where you say neat, and it's a lowercase n because you're like, it's neat, because it's part of this whole sentence. That's a capital N neat, where it's like, yeah, it's neat. Like, yeah, that's probably, that's probably the most interesting thing to say about it, but still, capital N's, some people, you know, are you kidding me? I'm just gonna start troop building gears now? I mean, if we're gonna, we're gonna. And, uh, hey! Uh, duty! <laughs> Duty and honor. It's the Optimus Prime uh, Legendary Warrior Stratagem. It's the two-star stratagem. I think it's the only one in the set with two stars. As long as one of your characters other than this Optimus has been KO'd, your Optimus gets Brave, Focus One, Bold One, and Tough One. This seems this seems fun. Uh, the Optimus is uncommon, so there's a decent chance we might see him. Um, I remember thinking this effect was cool. Like, it's kind of ridiculously expensive. You know, it's... <laughs> It's it's turning him into into a sort of ballooned character, but I, I think it's it's thematic. That's what that that's that's my board game word that's infected me now. I'm starting to care even in this card game about how thematic stuff is. Um, Baltan too says six times gears. I I that's a rude that's a rude word. That's that's NSFW. So we got hold down. That's uh, that's bludgeon by the way. Um, it's a tank orange. Uh, when a character defends, they get tough four. Oh yeah, we saw this in pack one. Uh, handheld blaster. Disassemble! Another tripwire. I want more of those. Another electro-optical visor, and another ghost shield. I got two of a rare. Um, I'm curious if this has been anything, uh, on the, like, higher competitive side. Uh, because it seems like a thing that once you get it down, you can kind of, like, make it never go away. Um, depending on how your deck is built, but also that's a lot of work just to maintain a plus three, and I don't know if with Pierce stuff all over the place that's worth maintaining. Uh, I like the effect. It's another little another little mini-game effect. Who are you? Ooh! Sky Shadow Tank! It begins. This weird thing begins. Uh, so this is a tough two tank. That's it. You know, we'll see if that if that becomes something else. Um, and who are you? Stylor! Uh, Stylor is just a plus one defense. So Stylor can mount onto here, and it's like, I'm Sky Shadow. It's like, no, you're not. You don't have any shins or feet. You're not ready yet. You're not ready. Still, uh, still cooking. Still rising. Still, uh, still, still proofing in the jar. Oh yeah, Tony, that's how they're doing Sky Shadow. Sky Shadow is a Titan Master and two vehicles. Uh, which means the tech is in place for that kind of overlord as well, if they want to. Uh, so we got Brass Nux, Grav Inhibitor, Black Pip, Pierce 3. I don't remember if we talked about this. This is like not, I don't know if it's strictly better Piercing Blaster, it's just, it's Piercing Blaster, but with a Pierce Pip instead of a White Pip. And I feel like in a Pierce deck, you, you know, it depends, if you are if you want to run the Piercing Blaster thing, then it's like, do I need Black Pips or White Pips? Uh, industrial Grade Phase Charge, it's a common I haven't seen yet, out of, out of nearly half the box. Uh, black Pip Weapon, plus two attack, when the upgraded character attacks, you can scrap this to get plus three till end of turn instead of plus two. Oh yeah, okay, that's neat. Uh, it has Power Cell, Emergency Repair Patch, put this on an Autobot, repair one damage, and it's an armor with plus one. And there was one of these, there was one of these in a previous wave, where it's like heal when you put it on them. And I don't remember if that one actually had a plus one. I remember, I remember wishing it did. Anyway, that's, that's interesting. Regenerative Core, Green Pip Armor with a plus one defense when the upgraded character attacks, move a damage counter from it to, the, oh yeah, this is the one that can basically like, soak two of your damage counters and then evaporate. Uh, again, I don't know if this really is, like, huge, but I like the idea a lot. Because those plus health things, when they get scrapped off, if you've been using them to buffer damage, you, you might just die when they get scrapped off or, or bounced off to your hand. This one is, like, moving them onto this, so if this gets scrapped, it's taking those counters with it. So it's like, a, I'd like to see more of this idea. Like, this is, like, a cool first run. 
All right. Almost halfway through this box. Griffman, who is that? Uh, I think, if you mean this one, I think that is uh, Top Spin on the art. Um, but with a regenerative core, whatever that is. By the way, uh, Trent Troop um, has been on, on uh, his Shapeways store, has been making a lot of these, a lot of the TCG uh, upgrades uh, as actual accessories that can 5mm plug onto Transformers. I don't remember all the ones that he's done so far, but on his Twitter he's, he's, been, he's been advertising them. And I think it's a really cool idea. Uh, so check that out if you are so interested. Hey, speaking of Bludgeon, it's Bludgeon. Uh, Bludgeon's an 11 star tank with 13 health and 3 defense, which already is, you know, that's, 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 a, that's a sentence I like to say. Uh, Pierce 1 tough one in tank mode, uh, he's a common. In robot mode, he's melee 6 1. Uh, when the opponent, when an enemy takes non attack damage, it also gets minus 1 defense till end of turn. Uh, I like, I like the way this works. Like, he's, he's again, like a sort of, um, a mini game common where it's like, oh, if you pull this in limited, hopefully you can build your limited deck around him. Um, but uh, it's interesting ideas on this guy. I want to try him out. And we got us. Ooh, we got this one. This is this is like. Oh yeah, is that Bludgeon from Onslaught? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Hey, may maybe. Uh, so this is this is the stratagem uh, for this set. I think not like necessarily the best one, I guess, but it's like the one you hope you pull. It's swap heads. Once per game, once per game for one star added to your deck count, you know, have two characters swap heads. Uh, I just, I remember when this set got revealed, I was like, oh, it's a shame you can't have the heads jump around. I was like, no, you can. We just made it a, a one star once effect. I'm like, okay, okay. Um, I'm glad I pulled that. I want to try that one out. Uh, the stratagems, by the way, there's no reason to play more than one of one of them, so you kind of want to just collect the 30 of them without without dupes if possible. Uh, Alright. Let's get this cracked. Well, your spine is strong, but I'll just peel it open. Little card pack. Bleh. Spiked bracelet. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen. Tough to utility, but with an orange pip. Um, lock on target. Uh... This one I remember, I thought for like a hot second this was an actual screen cap from a G1 episode, just because there's something about the, the formatting of it. It's a plain blue pip. Um, one of your characters gets bold four till end of turn, which in a piercy thing could be super fun. Um, Hoopla, if you're skillful in pack opening, you won't get doubles of stratagems. Well, I guess I'm skillful. Uh, industrial grade phase charge. Another tripwire. I'm equipped. I think that's a place at a tripwire. And another high five. And belligerence, I heard. Belligerence and another card whose name I forgot. Because I forgot the card names because it's early uh, in its lifespan. But I think bellig belligerence is like one of those ones people are really hoping to pull. Um, so I got a belligerence and it goes with another card. And I don't remember what it is. But uh, I got a belligerence, so... Uh, so I won. So it's an orange pip action. Till end of turn, each blue pip either player flips during a battle is an orange pip. It's end hostilities. That's it. Belligerence end hostilities. Seems I got the impression on Facebook that's like that's what everyone wants to pull, and I forgot what they both did, and I didn't look them up because, uh, you know, I was having one of those nights. Um, but I got a belligerence, so I feel I feel fancy now. Slayer Shoop, I'll show you belligerence. Yeah, here, there. All right. The penultimate pack of the first side of the box. We've got Top Spin. All right, so I've got both. Of, ooh. And I got Optimus Prime's head, Apex, uh, who gives stealth. Um, hopefully I get an Optimus Prime to put this on. Otherwise, I guess I could just... I was kind of hoping to just get the head so I could start sticking Optimus onto everyone. And I love that Optimus gives you stealth. <laughs> I don't know. It's, for all my talk about thematic, that ain't to me. Like I get, I get, I get how it matches with some of the effects. But uh, top spin. Sorry, I saw some here. Wreck and roll. Uh, how many stars is top spin? Well, when he defends, he gets tough at the end of battle, equal to his bold total. Um, I understand. 
Is this a known... I'm assuming this is a known misprint? That's where the stars are supposed to be. Well, uh, okay, he's nine stars. Uh, okay, you guys are all saying he's nine stars, but, um, <laughs> let me <laughs> adjust my glasses for a sec. Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, what's printed on the cards, uh, trumps whatever, uh, the rules might say. So, I guess Topspin is just a free include, uh, in, a, in a, in a deck. I, I guess. Just a free, just a free character include. Um, when this attacks and you flip at least one white pip, draw a card. Um... RE that channel update. I had a I had a little piece of paper about that. For those of you who missed it. I don't remember where I put that piece of paper. Is it in here somewhere? I was really happy with that piece of paper too. Ah, I found it. Yeah, I should put this out so people coming in get it. Yeah, the channel update is uh, was was deadly serious. Um We'll just put that over here. Uh, Dragon Samurai 7, all topspin deck. I mean, yeah, every, every single topspin you get is free, so the more topspins you collect, uh, the more of them you can run. Um, let's see here. Isaac Traconis, bless me. Um, Messiahs of the Transformers, also greetings from Venezuela. Hello to you who is in Venezuela. Uh, I will send blessings, but I'm no messiah. I am merely a carpenter. The, uh, the update is I'm working on a video for him and for him, and then I also have a, a, a Twitch stream archive, but I want to make a Transformers video first, and I also have a BotBots thing that I've shot and need to edit, but then all of that uh, got a little bit janked because then this showed up today, and I wanted to do this before tomorrow because I was not about to sit there with a sealed box of cards that I've been craving for a while. Uh, it was the Deadly Serious Channel. A laser Scalpel, Double Black Pip, Pierce One Utility. That's the part. That's the part. My throat's a little bit... Mm. That's the part. Scouting Mission, we've seen you. Improvised Shield, such, such art. I like that art. Last Stand. Perhaps... Of a Wrecker? Uh, Black Pip action. One of your characters gets plus five attack till end of turn. KO it at the end of the turn. Hey, I guess that's for if, um, you know, if you end up with one of these and you slap down one of these, you're like, here we go. Uh, don't worry, wave sign. I'm working on it. Uh, actually, yeah, if you, <laughs> if you get the god hand, then you're like, all right, I got a, I got a, a Titan Master down, grenade launcher last stand, plus five, and I hope I win. Because I'm dead either way. <laughs> um, I actually don't remember this card at all from spoiler season, so that's exciting to me. And we got another Rider Kick. And uh, Reflect Damage is my rare secret action, green pip secret action. Uh, if you, re you reveal it, if exactly one of your characters would take non-attack damage from an opponent's card, instead that much you do that much non-attack damage to an enemy, you literally bounce your one shall stand to whoever was taking the three so that you just played a card to deal six damage to your character congratulations gg is anyone still playing one shall stand in this because i know a lot of um a lot of the at least the vector sigma folks were, were running it through wave four if i recall correctly i wonder if it is it still chilling out is it still just a is it got value i want to i want to reflect a one shall stand at somebody and i i don't we we don't actually i don't think a lot of us here in toronto were running one shall stand all that often, so I don't know what I'm gonna get to reflect it. I wanna, I gotta bully someone into, into running one shall stand. Uh, hey, it's Outback. We had your, we had your stratagem earlier, mate. Um, one shall stand, one shall fall. We'll be making a comeback with windsweeper. Says wreck and roll. Okay. Um, Jeremy Campos, if MTG Commanders taught me anything, it's that reflecting lethal is so satisfying, even if it happens one in five hundred games. Absolutely. If you, I want to win either with this. Or, or, with this. These kind of things as, like, the turnaround win. I'm so down for that. Uh, Outback, when you flip to his truck mode, you can scrap an upgrade from your hand to draw two cards. Uh, if an opponent's card would cause an upgrade to be scrapped from this, from him, instead you can scrap an upgrade of the same type from your hand. What did your stratagem do again? This lets you, when you upgrade him, also draw and drop a card. So, hand filter. That's... 
okay, maybe, maybe? Doesn't seem bad, it doesn't seem amazing. Um, hey Hoopla, if you're still there, I decided to take it easy on you because I've been pulling stratagems so well. Uh, I mean, basically I've already won. So uh, let's just say I decided to start pulling dupe stratagems as a kindness to you, um, just so you don't feel too bad. But uh, you know, just bear in mind, I won. Uh, I need a better place to put these. Let's do that for now. Yikes, indeed. That's what I would say if someone had just beaten me at card pulling skill. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, that's me wiping my brow that's up here because these are my eyes. Whew. Darn. Blade Flurry, Grav Inhibitor, Spiked Bracelet, Emergency Repair Patch, Supporting Fire, and the rare is Nitro Booster. Uh, double black, uh, but only one of them, uh, unless your cars. When the upgraded character attacks and has three attack or less, untap it and scrap this card. So this is like it's a utility that gives them a car untap in addition to other car stuff. That seems fun. Um, situational, obviously, to what characters can use this, but... Uh, I think it's interesting that they added, like, another car untap in Wave 5. I'm wondering if it's like, hey, maybe cars might have fallen by the wayside. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know, Sky Shadow sounds like is, is a thing. I mean, I know Sky Shadow is a thing I saw in the Facebook group. I just can't remember precisely why. I didn't pull the Sky Shadow part that lets me know why. That, that would be the feat. I didn't get the, I didn't get the feat card! So I don't know what... Sky Shadow does! Anyway, Outback. These mini bots commons are just surrounding me. Uh, ooh! I got the stratagem for a super rare that I want. That is Night Racer. Uh, stealth mission. Your deck can have an extra two stars of secret actions. Ergo, you spend a star to get two stars of secret actions. Eric! Eric, this is the press box. But it's, it's out tomorrow. So, trust, I mean, I'm not saying you should have known. I forgot this is out tomorrow until uh, uh, yesterday. And then I was starting to stress about who to order from, who would get me Tidal Wave, and I still don't really know. So uh, I'm just sort of playing it by ear. Anyway, I hope I hope you're in my box, because I want to put you with Shockwave and do things. Oh, Eric, I gotta tell you the most important update. The, uh, the, the filler cards. So downside, one of them is magic. Upside? One of them, we return to the wave one full blank. We got it back, Eric! It's ours again! <laughs> oh, I'm... I am tickled. I'm elated. I am, I am positively, uh, uh, trickling with raspberry sauce... Because I am Cheesecake. Sharpen Talons, Scouting Mission. Came in Crash. Uh, Pounce Night Racer and Wave 3 Skywarp gets you a ton of value out of Secret Actions. Yeah, I want to I, I wanna run some Secret Action decks. That's what I want to do. Emergency Repair Patch, Turn the Tide, and Hebbutt! Um, this is a double black pierce. Uh, you only get the plus pierce if you are um, a non-type? Oh yeah, no, if you're a Titan Master. If you're Titan, what am I talking about? Uh, if you're a Titan Master. Which means one of these in in this mode at the end of the game. Uh, that's that's where you get the double black pierce. But the effect, I'm losing track. Of, I'm thinking about Eric's deck labels now. I want to see more of those. Uh, tap one of your characters in body mode. Tap an enemy that has ten stars or fewer and is in bot mode or body mode. So basically it's like, prang, now we're both tapped. And yeah, it's a free proxy in every deck. They are great, those filler cards. Boy, howdy. Uh, good card stock, too. Like, it's 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 pretty thick. Like, I'm not lying. I made some tuck boxes out of this for some board game cards. You, just, you knife across, fold it, you know, duct tape reinforce. Oh, it's been fun. The arts and crafts I've been doing have been pretty fun. Megatron! They finally put... I was going to do that more more real, for real. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> take two, take two. They finally put Megatron into the Transformers trading card game. Holy moly. 
Megatron Fallen Hero. When this defends and you flip at least one orange, do one damage to the attacker after the battle. Uh, 15 health. Uh, oh man, Megatron, that's a tank! We did it! Uh, when you flip to body mode, gets plus two till end of turn, so seven attack till end of turn. That's pretty cool. This just seems like a fun, solid, stat boosty Megatron. Yeah, I'm, I'm into it. And uh, who's the head? Flame at my first, my first duplicate Titan Master. I'm just, I am. It's a, it's Merry Christmas for Hoopla. The way that I, in the second half of the box, I've decided to, to let up, on a mechanical whale productions. Why is there a giant bumblebee? Good question. We, let's go ask him. Um, excuse me. Why? Excuse me. Why is there? Why are you here? Why, what are you doing here? What What do you possibly have? Oh, no. Okay. Don't uh, ask that question again. Um, it'll go badly for all of us. <clears throat> Megatron with Clobber and Lionizer to play some super fast games. Kill fast, die fast, go, go, go. Yeah. Uh, I'm down. Uh, Griffman, yeah, not a triple changer. They just use that as the model because it is the Titan Master one. Um, ignore... Ignore some of, ignore those. Those are nothing. <laughs> if I recall correctly, and I might have just invented this in my head, to be honest, I can't remember. I feel like the question had come up of why is he not a triple changer, and the answer was because then we'd have to produce a folding card and it became complicated or something. I can't remember. Um, I might have made that up. Grain of salt that. Uh, by the way, is mission briefing and industrial grade phase charge and hold the line or the commons supporting fire and uh, oh here we go new one magnetic dysfunction ray it's a black uh, and orange do one damage to each character and do one damage to each Autobot therefore two damage to each Autobot one damage to each character well it's not all well, that's not two if, if if it is someone who can reduce by one each time they are pinged then it does nothing uh, to them but also it's a black orange and I'm I'm happy about that. And plasma horns, my second plasma horns. Um, yeah, this seems. I think this this like all the black oranges. I'm obviously eyeballing as like I want to put those with my off road patrol and with my constructicons. Um, oh, Cameron. Okay, uh, you asked Drew. Okay, yeah, I thought someone asked him. There's a minimum number of folding cards they need uh, to do for production reasons. That makes sense. They would need enough to like. Okay, this actually is not how it works. I just don't know how to put this in different words. I would imagine it's like. If we're gonna do folding cards, there has to be a sheet of characters who will be folding. So if there's only one folding card character, then there is one billion of that character produced because they're the only thing on the sheet or something. Anyway, yeah, that's that makes sense. Proper YouTuber here doing all my hand gestures in view of the phone camera. Um, Y'all mini... Y'all minibots are, are swarming me. You're flooding me. Just leave me, leave me alone. Leave me alone. But hey, it's Trax's stratagem. Trax is in this game as a super rare, uh, if I recall correctly. And uh, what's fun about Trax, Trax is a car. For an extra star, Trax is also a plane. Because of the thing where the car can turn into a flight mode. This is like thematic as hell and I love it. Gameplay-wise, this doesn't do, like, tons at all, but it's so thematic, I can't hate... I love this card. I love this card. Entirely because it's thematic. It doesn't really do much that's useful, but I just love it because it's like... They could have come up with, like, a plane-like effect, etc., etc., but no, it's just no plane tag because now he's a plane. It's like, yeah, I get it. Uh, Punk Rock... Uh, 101 er what's my favorite part of this game um, I think my favorite part of the game is uh, maybe this isn't the, the, the good answer it's that it's a Transformers game and it's good that's still my favorite part of this game it's been it's been like nearly two years right I'm still so tickled that a Transformers collectible trading cards uh, card game is good because <laughs> the track record ain't good on this kind of thing for Transformers I guess like the other thing I like about this is that uh, it's teams of characters against each other because uh, there's a lot of games that are still teams of characters versus a phantom life total and um, 
you can come up with fiction for what that life total is. It's a fortress, etc. But I really like that it's like, no, these are Transformers fighting each other. And then a lot of these card effects, a lot of these MTG style effects even, are applied but to these teams of characters rather than you, the person with the hand of cards. Something specific about that I really like. Uh, Wave Sign says, a tactics was acceptable. I never got the chance to play it, so I will take your word for it. I did. I do know a tactics had tournaments at BotCons and people had fun with it. Uh, it, is a, it is a dexterity game. Uh, precision Fire, that was Emergency Barricade, Precision Fire, and Laser Scalpel are commons. Spy Satellite Uplink, Black Green Utility, plus one attack utility, that gets me hype. Enemies can't use Brave or Stealth against the upgraded character. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, let me tell you why I like this a lot. Green Pip with a unique effect that you don't always need, so you can just put one in the deck. I like that. Black Pip with a green. I like that. A utility that also gives you plus one attack. I like that too, because, because... Your plus one attack upgrades are usually weapons anyway, and you can still do that. This goes in the utility slot, and and even if you end up not getting this effect, you're still getting the plus one, just in case you need the plus one. I don't know. I like I like how much stuff is going on here. Um, and another enhanced power cell, and another regenerative core. Oh boy. Are we going to play set that regenerative core? But yeah, this and, and uh, the Hollow Matter Avatar, uh, not Avatar, the Hollow Matter projector thing. Like, I like these just because it's like, it does a thing here, it's supported here, and it does a thing here. And uh, that, that package makes me excited about a card. Because it, it means that card is, is uh, a, lo a lot of cards in this game, obviously, by the design of the game, are not one note. That's another thing I really like about the game, is every card matters up, you know, down to this. Uh, but, I don't know. I really like it when a card is just like, it's so full of constant relevancy, even on a low, low level. I don't know, something about that is... It, something about that puts a needle in the skin, and... There's no cool way to end that sentence. I was trying to think of a nice, wholesome way to end that sentence. I couldn't. Uh, so, something, something, drugs. Uh, Decepticon Quake. Another Quake? We double, double in the Quake? A Decepticon dupe? An uncommon dupe at that? You dare? You dare? Well, who are you? Monxo! Hey! Noted Transformers fan. Um, Monxo. Uh, not Monzo, obviously. That's another uh, Noted Transformers fan. But this is the other one. This is the one who showed up a couple years ago with all the uh, whatever he did. Uh, Monxo goes with Weird Wolf. Sorry, Wolf Wire. Or is he Weird Wolf in this? I actually forgot. Uh, Sam, really wish I could continue playing. Lack of other players now compounded by lack of gatherings. There is a whole community that arose within a week of lockdown who have taken to playing this over webcam. Um, and my understanding is it's going well. I need to try it. My problem is I lost my webcam. I know it's here somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Uh, also, I just don't... I'm in a, I, I, am, I am in a mess. I am a messy person. And I want to clean it up. It's been bothering me. Being locked down has made it bother me even more. Uh, it's a massive source of anxiety. So that's been a great way for me to go like, oh, I can't really do this webcam thing yet. I gotta clear more room first. Um, now that this is about to come out, it's like activated something in my brain. Lock on target. And it's like, <clears throat> I'm making progress now. So we'll see. But yeah, webcam is a whole thing uh, outside of Octagon. Hold down... Handheld blaster. Um, Sam, I'll have to look at this because for context, last time I played, you were there. Oh, geez. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta look into it. Gotta get some of them cards down. Also, uh, I picked up at Energon uh, Invitational that this game truly, you know, some decks maybe less so, but a lot of the decks in this game, you can, you can play a really decent solitaire of just running both teams and swinging at each other. I don't know. You wouldn't want to do it for hours and hours unless you're you know, testing a, a deck idea that, like, can win the game with Daring Escape, but it's a, it's a, I tried it out in the, in the hotel room, it actually kind of worked. Matifer, yo! Yo, Matifer! My yo is, like, more capitals, less O's, but yo! Temporal Quagmire, secret action, I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, reveal when a character defends, each player can't flip more than two battle cards during this battle. No pips, but I'd like the effect, it's no, I, I'm, di you know? Uh-oh, what was that, what was that? John Hanford, Temporal Quagmire. Boy, isn't that a relevant card name for these times? Like, basically, someone played this on me, and I still have... 
They just keep, they keep flipping, they, they put three in the deck and they just keep playing it again and again. Every time it runs, they just keep drawing it. And then they could win the game. They could just play Daring Escape or something. They just keep playing it. They keep healing my characters somehow. It's illegal, but they keep doing, and they just keep playing it. It doesn't stop. I can't flip more than two battle cards per battle. Someone help me. Another uncommon I haven't seen. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Choose one of your characters. It's an action. Uh, it's a defense pip, but only gives defense for melee characters. Uh, choose a character when it attacks his turn and doesn't have a weapon. Gets plus three till end of battle. And you scrap all the defender's weapons. That seems pretty cool. I like that. Uh, and A. I play set a ghost shield. So I'm in a temporal quagmire and I'm a ghost. Relevant. Relevant. You dig? You know what? Titan Master's attack? Well played. Well played. You called me out. I admit it. Who are you? Brawn. I pulled you already. You go in the you go in the pile, Brawn, where you belong. You get no, no, you don't just go in the pile. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check. Uh Brawn, I was mistaken. Hey Brawn, buddy. My my buddy Brawn. I was thinking of your strategy. Welcome back to the fold, Brawn. Uh when when the bomb mode defends against an enemy that has more stars than him and you flip battle cards, plus one defense for each different color. Among the battle cards you flipped. And uh, the truck mode. When this truck attacks an enemy that has more stars in him and you flip battle cards, pierce one for each different color you flip. Uh, it's an alpha striking little five star truck. Oh, Braun, my good friend Braun. I would never do you wrong. Uh, also, I got the Megatron uh, Stratagem Revenge for two stars, much like. Okay, so there is another one. I don't remember this one at all. So uh, I, don't, I don't remember this at all. Uh, so for two stars, gets bold based on how many damage counters he has. Uh, one to five, bold one, six to ten, bold two, eleven plus bold three. Uh, he was a tacky, so I guess in like an aggro tanks deck that could be something. Seems expensive, but it's also a common for an uncommon character. I'd try it out, I'd try it out. That seems, that seems neat. I'd give it a shot. Um, Matifer, did I get my promo Perceptor yet? Uh, no, this is, this is the wizard's box. Uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out who to get a box from locally that will also do the promo, because I think I know who, but then there's another place that I can do local curbside pickup at really easily, but they're also very specifically the place that have not been great about anything about the promos of these. So I think I gotta, like, give up that comfort and get one shipped to me from one of the places that is farther away from me, because they're more likely to act. I, I could also just... Yo, everyone. I could also just send an email and ask. And I probably should just do that. Oh, Matifer, um, thank you for the offer. I know I will be fine. Um, the stores in Toronto that are WPN, like, the Toronto is rich with the promo. I haven't... I don't know it, but I kind of guess. I can make an educated guess... Toronto is rich with promos, and I, I will get a hold of them eventually. But thank you. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Nagato004, hello, welcome. I'm just bisecting some plastic. Lock on target, sharpen talons, and hold the line of the commons. Spy satellite, uplink, and hollow matter projector are the uncommons. End hostility. Hey, that was the other one, right? Right? Was that the other one? Was that the other one? Is this the is this the power pole that everyone wants? Hey, I did it. Uh, so end hostilities is a secret action. One of your characters defends each orange pip uh, is a blue. Okay, I get it. Uh, Eric, everyone on the Facebook group was like, I want play sets of these out of my box. And I forgot what they did. <laughs> so, uh, belligerence, among other things, means if you're playing against a blue deck then you, and you're an aggro deck, you've, you've screwed them. Or it means that you can do a big swing uh, with a blue deck at perhaps an aggro deck. And then this, um, I guess, is, you know, the other way around. Uh... I feel very special now that I did the power pull. That's, uh... Hey, go me. All that pull skill. I I pull the dupes, so I pull the power. It is all intentional. It's an art. Uh, I don't... I'm a... Great man named Dan Reichert once said, I don't believe in luck. He is also colossally lucky. 
Topspin, what are you doing here? We talked about you already. Topspin, still no stars. Still no stars, you. All right, so I can run two free topspins now. Uh, that's my that's my deck tech. And we got Vorath of Mindwipe fame, who gives tough one. And has, you know, quietly one of the best names in Transformers. It's just, it's just good syllables. It's good syllables put together. Vorath. I like saying it. Disassemble, laser scalpel, hit and run. Uh, I play set it just now, Electro Optical Visor. I play set it high five. And my second, Head the Bato. Speaking of weird monster noises <clears throat> and sore throats, uh, I tweeted about this. So check my Twitter for, for a link on my Twitter feed. But I'll say it here too. My friend Dustin, the next decade, uh, did a Kuga motion comic. And uh, I got to play the voice of a Grongi in it. Uh, and it was pretty fun. So if you want to hear me uh, snarling at children, then uh, go and check that out. We got... Hey! All right. I pulled up... I mean, he's an uncommon. It's not super incredible, but I wanted to. So it's... I got Optimus Prime and Apex and the Stratagem so I can, I can run the package. So Optimus Prime Legendary Warrior is an uncommon, by the way. Uh... He is the, the sibling card to that Megatron. Um, when you flip to truck mode, draw a card. If you have fewer cards in hand than your opponent, draw another card. I like card draw. Uh, 5, 16, 2. 16 health for 12 stars is kind of is kind of cool. Yeah, that girl. This is the Titan's Return Optimus, so he's got that, <laughs> that dumbass, like, <laughs> that huge friggin' uh, protuberance. Uh, and then the body mode, 6, 16, 1. Plus one, minus one. When bot mode, body mode attacks, repair one damage from one of your characters. Then if you have few characters in the battlefield, then your opponent repair another damage. I want to try something out with that. That just seems like a, a system to run. I don't know what it is yet, but I, I want to run it. I want to run it. Who's the head that I got? I got the original reveal. I got the cup head. I got flintlock. Rare head. That's tough three. And uh, a... a digitally altered lack of a cigar. <laughs> I can't remember if the cigar was there in the original Origins. He's got, he's got, look at his lip. Look at his lip. Should be, yeah, it's Cuphead. Eric, have you played Cuphead? It's a really good game. It's the print and play version. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, so the toy didn't have it either. For some reason, I was just like, it looked so much like a, a Saigar was there. Where did it go? I dropped a bunch of things. Oh, boy. I picked them back up. Just some uh, some extra supplies I brought with me for the stream that we'll we'll talk about later on. Uh, just to stick you in a less precarious position, thusly... And then I'm gonna put these some some soda. I'm gonna, sometime I'm gonna do another stream. We're gonna, I'm gonna do a stream to build the two Kashins, and then we'll see what the, the difference between the Kashins is before I forget which one is which. So many Kashins, so little time. Commons are mission briefing. Uh, laser scalpel. Did I talk about mission briefing? I think I did, but you, you draw a card for each character in bot mode or body mode. I remember saying that. I did talk about that. Uh, grav inhibitor, uncommons are turn the tide, an electro optical visor, and a paralyzo box. Oh, I like saying that. That's a fun word. Uh, so that is a white green. Um, you can't do the green effect of picking it up unless you are flipping it for a range character. Uh, weapon, when the upgrade character attacks, choose a battle icon. Uh, color, your opponent reveals a top card. If it is that color, the upgraded character gets plus four attack until end of battle. Uh, interesting. Um, Nagito, uh, another board game stream. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, if I do, um, like, literal game streaming, I'm gonna try to do that on Twitch because I like existing over there. Uh, I need to figure out how Restream works so I can have it run over here too, but basically, if I stream on Twitch... I like their, their whole system for, like, pulling clips out before they get rid of the VOD so it all exists there, but I'm also pulling that out and then uploading it here, 
uh, so it'll exist in both places. Uh, it is the, the new form of video games. Um, but I want to play uh, on Tabletop Simulator a solo run of 51st State Master Set. Uh, I gave it a try. I, I bought it recently in physical, and then I gave it a try in, in TTS, and I want to play that, because running that solo stream of Architects of the West Kingdom was a lot of fun. Uh, Blackhawk and Omega is one from Zio, the other from the, uh, the Over Quartzer movie. Like, technically, uh, they are, if I recall from the Candy blog, they are borderline identical, except one has an extra paint tap somewhere, and I forgot what it was. Uh, neither one comes with the weapon. The weapon is in a different box. I have the box for at least one Kashin, but my troop build Kashins are going to be weaponless for the most part. Uh, Peacemaker2448, you love how they showed Soto Kuga's bike in a recent blog post? Nobody caught it for days. Yeah, that was, that was some good stuff. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Okay... Roadbuster, is this my SR? Roadbuster is my SR. Not the SR I wanted, but it's the SR that Reckon Rule is really happy about. <laughs> um, so, uh, this is a leader wrecker um, in truck, not truck mode. He's not a truck, he's nothing. Uh, it's a 514.3, 6.2 in uh, bot mode. When you upgrade the truck mode, the alt mode with armor repair one from him for 11 stars uh when you upgrade the bot mode with a weapon do one damage to an enemy uh, i remember this now from the reveal that seems like a fun system to play around with um so i gotta figure out a thing to do with this it's not the super rare i wanted but it's i'm still there's seven of these now there's like basically it's a lot more mathematically hard to not pull a super rare and i forgot the math it's just it's less mathematically easy to go super rare. So I was about to say before I open this, wouldn't it be funny if I have the first no super rare box for Titan Master's attack, but that's no longer um, a possibility. He's a super rare nonetheless, so we gotta do the proper... I was only gonna do this for a super rare. We gotta do the proper um, ritual. So let's uh, get this open, and then let's get this open, and take out one of my precise fits. Uh, we will just put the rest of the Precise Fit bag back into the Oversley bag with the logo on it so I remember that these are the Precise Fits. You gotta be organized. Uh, now we'll take our Precise Fit. We will slide top down because it is the Precise Fit. Uh, so we'll put it on here like that. Uh, now we'll take one of our uh, premium Mayday sleeves. Um, well, I mean, there's, there's non-premium ones, but I would... Never be caught dead without a premium mayday, obviously. <laughs> and then we'll slide this in here so that we double sleeve our super rare character. And we gotta make sure the bottom doesn't curl. Might take a few tries, but the effort's worth it for the prestige. Ah, yes. And we'll slip you in there, make sure your air bubbles are minor bend you out a little bit. Ah. Double sleeved vintage 2020 super rare roadbuster. As, as Primus intended. Yes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> John Hanford, triple sleeve. That's over in the other room. I got it. I only brought the double sleeving with me here because this is a safe for work stream. Um, our stratagem. Ooh! I got the stratagem with the... Oh, Nagito004 with the super chat. Thank you. Getting that good, good sleeve action. Uh, Ryder Skullman just popped in. He got a super rare. That's right. Uh, I also got the best card name. Me Grimlock. You Grimlock! Uh, so when someone... If you, if you play the stratagem, Clobber is an extra... Clobber, this head, is an extra star. But whoever has Clobber as a head also gets the Dinobot trait which unlocks a number of cards for them potentially they could use. I don't have Clobber proper, though, so for now that stratagem is just, you know, hypothetical. Baltan 2, lamination off screen. Oh, like I said, this is a, this is a safe for work stream. Ah, uh, Matter for Clobber is so fun. That's good to hear. I, uh, I'll say it again. I said earlier in the stream, I have not kept up 
at all with everyone who's been doing uh, Wave 5 gameplay with proxies and stuff. So all I, I'll say it again, I apologize if you've been watching this whole thing, but my anecdote is, I was not paying a whole ton of attention, and then I saw Stefan post, should Sky Shadow uh, have action taken? And I was like, ooh, the Decepticons matter? And that's that's about as far as I got for paying attention, but uh, that was that, that was nice to see. Um, how deadly serious is this stream really, says Zimmit? Well, it, you can see right over here. It says it's deadly serious. There's skulls on it. There's a skull inside the A. Uh, got lock on target, hold the line, decoy flares, hand-to-hand -hand combat, high five! Ooh. Ooh, a second belligerent. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. What's the... Uh, second belligerence? That means I have two. Oh. Hoo. See you later, Sam. Catch you later. Uh, take it easy. Look at that. Double, double belligerence. I can run two of them in a deck right now. Uh, Matifree, running him with, uh, running clobber with topspin clobber, brawn, and horrible kreb. Uh, focus, heavy in blue and black. Pips, yes. That sounds fun. I like blue, black. I like pierce. Um... Yeah, let me put my prizes uh, just over here. Pumping up the EV of this box. Hashtag TFTCG Finance. Roadbuster's gonna be a fifty dollar card. Mark my words. I don't know. If, I have no. I haven't looked at any of it. Uh, hey, I got Brainstorm. Who is a rare? Uh, brainstorm in alt mode. When you flip to alt mode, look at the top card. If it's an upgrade, you may play it or just get that information. Someone else has a top card thing, and I already forgot who they were, but mm, I'm having ideas. Nine stars. Uh, body mode. When this attacks and you flip at least one upgrade, you can put one of the upgrades you flipped into your hand after the battle. What head did I get? I got another parsec. That's okay. That's okay. Because Nautic is great. Uh, Gappy, this, uh, very Deadly Serious stream is just card opening, not complaining, just asking. Well, we had the Deadly Serious part at the beginning. Uh, and, and then, uh, you know, we had to, we had to, we had to back away. It was too Deadly Serious. It was too... Okay, so the, the, I'll repeat the Deadly Serious part here, uh, because it's, we're coming up on 97 minutes. Um, it really is just saying, like, uh, I'm writing a review for him and for him, and I wanted that to be the next video that goes up. I also have a gameplay Twitch stream video that is locked in into Unlisted, ready to go up, and I wanted a Transformers video to go up first. Uh, but then this box showed up, and I wanted to do this right away, because there's no way I'm sitting on a sealed box of cards I've been wanting for months. Uh, also, there's a box opening of a Hasbro box of the Golden Bot Bot something or other. It's all shot, needs to be edited, and... I didn't mention this before, I have a bunch of TFTCG videos that I shot months ago, and I'm still going to put them up, I just want to, I'm going to make intros for them to, like, give context to what they are, but I have specifically two, an Energon Edition opening, with the, mostly opening the Wave 1 uh, box that comes with it, and a deck tech of my Energon Invitational deck, I still want to put those up, I just got to make a little intro for them saying, hey, this is what this video is, and I shot it months ago, and I'm putting it up anyway, because, try to stop me. Um, been in Pokemon mode for a while, so he threw, threw you off with the EV. <laughs> uh, oh, nice, and that sounds cool. I am assuming that is one of the things I talked about. <laughs> Either that or you all just are really into EV, and that's cool too. EV is a, EV is a G1, so EV is good Pokemon. Uh, hit and run, spiked bracelet, blade fury. Flurry, not Fury. Enhanced Power Cell, Last Stand of the Road Buster, uh, and uh, what? He, what? Hold up. What? End hostilities? You mean to say in this box I have two belligerences and two end hostilities? You're saying that? Oh, hang on. Reclining in my chair a second. Just taking a. Mm. It's a good feeling. It feels good. It feels good. I feel good. I feel good. Let's just uh, get you back. Put you back. Don't, make sure the sign is still visible. We gotta make sure everything is nice and organized here. Just, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Uh, Jeremy Campos, two more dice rolls. We got us some play sets. Hell yeah, we almost got us some play Mmm. All right. I don't even have any deck ideas for them. I forgot what they were, but now I want to make decks for them. Uh, I'm not even mad about you. You know what? Not even mad about the same one of this either. It's fine. They're commons. You're supposed to get dupes of them. Uh, Rider Skullman. So the tiny character cards this wave are heads and stratagems. Correct. Uh, if you pull a body card, it will come with a head, not necessarily a matching one, just a head, uh, which is really good for limited formats. It means that it's like more variability. And then if you pull a regular character, uh, then you get a stratagem. So that's how the collation, uh, if that's the right word, uh, is set up for this wave. Oh, yeah. Get you out of that pack. Let's see what you are. Hit and run. Improvise. Shield. Hold down. Spy. Satellite. Uplink. Fusion Boror is my second one. And a second Nitro Booster for whatever the hell this Pierce Cars thing I want to try now is going to be. Uh, all right. Continuing on. Beef. It is. Horrible. I forgot already. I forgot already. My apologies, horrible. It's been a bit. It's been a day. I forgot if we've already pulled you. I don't think we have. Hey, good. I don't have to put you in the pile, you uncommon. Uh, so this beast ground trooper, when you flip to this beast mode, move a damage counter from this to an enemy. And in bot mode, when you play a black pip card, do a damage to an enemy and a damage to this. Oh, I see. I understand now why this has been... Yeah, that seems really fun. Oh, Zim Man. Yeah, the only... Uh, I can tell you. Um, is Snapdragon in this set? No, I don't think he... Uh, wait, is he? Now I can't remember. Um, Nautica's in this. Why, well, she sure is. Uh, and heck... Even a dang heckin' Parsec is now in this. I didn't pull Parsec with her, but we we did it. What's up? Nautica's in. Uh, not, not like optimal Nautica, but Nautica nonetheless. Oh, and by the way, who's our head? Doom shot! Alright, so I finished the Optimus and the Megatron. Granted, like I said, uncommons all around. But still, that's three cards I'm trying to assemble. In lieu, I'm probably not getting Sky Shadow. But I'm happy I got the weird, like, uncommon leader guys for whatever their odd little mini game is. And yeah, you don't need to run this with Megatron, but I want to at least once run this, like, as the, the set quote-unquote intended. Uh, Gappy, Mr. Mister, can I make a request for you to say three random things coming through your head, uh, any? Thanks. You mean any of my heads? Because you can make, you, I mean, if you're going to say any head, then that's fine, but, you know, you don't, you, we could have used a specific one of my heads, uh, but yeah, you know, banana, shoe, uh, plastic. Let's get this open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that nice, that nice, that nice skin rip peel. That's the good, that's the good kind. Lock on target, spiked bracelet, hit and run, supporting fire, last stand, and intrusion countermeasures software. Second one of those, I believe. Uh, Zim Man, no, there are no shoes, bananas. There are no shoes or bananas in my line of sight. Um, a banana new shoe. Is that figure on Horrible's card a new one or a recolor of an existing one? I believe this was a newly designed one. Uh, some of, when, when it's a character who didn't have a toy, they kind of just added joints to a G1 design and, and came up with their own kind of thing. They did that for the Omnibots as well as a convention exclusive pack uh, last year. Outback, more like, hey, why don't you go out 
back. <laughs> oh, damn. Owned him. I got the Blitzwing stratagem. This is for Wave 2 Blitzwing. Uh, for an extra star when uh, in either alt mode, he has both alt mode traits. Uh, some stuff I want to try with that. Uh, I'm kind of into this one. The Master Converter. Nailed it. Hell yeah. All right. Laser Scalpel, Camion Crash, Precision Fire. Nagita 004 saying, more like out back to the trash. Damn it. That was a good one. Turn the Tide, Rider Kick, and uh, Ghost Shield. Started my second place at a Ghost Shields. Not even trying. Not even trying. I do it naturally. All right. Wingspan is the one that I already got. I still... Did I, did I not pull pants? That was Wingspan was, was, uh, was pack one. Oh, man. Well, that feels bad. And the Wind Charger uh, All Out. Second copy of that. All right, you... Show me your wares. I want to get into the system. Hack it. Industrial grade phase charge hauled down spiked bracelet. Magnetic dice function ray. Trip wire and regenerative core play setted. I do believe. There are two packs. Two packs? There are two packs remaining. This is the penultimate pack. There is still right now a chance of accomplishing, probably not, but that's still pretty cool. Chrome Dome. Did I? I know I got Style Lore. This is the story of the stream. Did I? I didn't. All right. I wanted Chrome Dome. Uh, computer Programmer is a nice way to say Brain Surgeon. Uh, so when the car mode attacks and your opponent has three or more actions in their KO area, it gets plus three, so attacks for seven. Um, oh, Wookie Mart, it's a, it's a mix. It's, you, you start off, so downside. One card's not even a Transformers ad anymore, it's a magic ad. But then the other one is back, baby. Uh, Scorp X7, neither of my top spins have stars, so they are free to run because that's what's printed on the card. Uh, I, I'm just I'm saying how the, what the rules are. Um, so, when you flip to body mode, look in your opponent's hand and put an action from it into their KO area. Remove it from the game, basically. I, I like this. Also, because it's dark. That's basically him sticking his needle fingers in your brain and sucking knowledge out and deleting it forever. Oh, good stuff. And uh, we got Quake's Head. I got Chasm. Chasm. Got Chasm. Gives a plus two attack. Good old Chasm. Uh, Eric thought the body was Unicron's face. The bargaining cost is highly dubious. Perfect Unicron impersonation. Wow. Good job, Chris. Thank you. That is my specialty. Improvised shield, disassemble, sharpen talons, emergency repair patch, junk cannon, and staggering might. That's a new one. Utility, plus one attack, white piff. When the upgraded, while the upgraded character has 16 stars or more, it has bold one, tough one. That is, that is an interesting effect. I wonder who that could be for. Uh, well, it's our final booster. Last card uh, opening. The last cards that we will see out of this box, guaranteed. Absolutely. It's weird how often Fortress Maximus is on the the artwork for these things. Like I don't I don't get it. Like it's silly. He's too big to be a cart. It's dumb. Uh, hey, it's Wolfwire. I asked this earlier. Is it Wolfwire or Weird Wolf? It is Wolfwire. And we got the, we got the plus five health head Grax, which is a head I wanted because this is just like. That's dumbass. I like it. Nagito, two bucks. S Super chat for the last pack. Luck. Thank you. 
Let's see uh, this ground tracker. When you flip to wolf mode, you may scrap a green pip card from your hand to draw two cards. Uh, when body mode battles, instead of swapping a card from your hand with one of your flipped green pip cards, you can just put one of them into your hand. It's the combiner swoop effect that I really like that no one really talks about because it's on a card no one likes. But I like that effect a lot. All right. Here's the big one. Belligerence or the... Belli or end hostilities. Yeah, no, they gotta use those Fort Max assets somewhere. It's like, yeah, Fort Max is... How would they fit him in a pack? It'd be stupid. It'd be his tiny Fort Max card. It'd be ridiculous. Uh, Alright, lock on target. Emergency barricade. Laser scalpel. Supporting fire. Temporal quagmire. We, we might have just gotten stuck in one of these. Before we see the last rare battle card of the pack, uh, let me just uh, throw it out there. Um, that, uh, thank you all for tuning into this. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, and... Uh, if you're if if you've been doing super chat Nagito, that's that's super cool. Thank you so much. If you're one of them Patreon patrons, thank you so much as well. Uh, and thank you all for your your continued patience as I try to function as a human uh, for for the, the 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 current state of things. Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, the, it will, it will happen. Uh, the rare is overrule. Well, that's interesting. Uh, so that's a really cool stream that we just did there with this. Uh, oh, that feels good. That feels good. Hmm. And uh, I guess I'll just pack all this stuff up. Can't forget my super rare, my road buster. Hmm, excellent, good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's that's been the thing. I mean, what? Oh, excuse, what? Remove, the, remove this divider to summon the Fortress Maximus pack. <laughs> that's ridiculous. You can't in real life. You can't summon things. There is no mana in real life. That's poppycock. But you know, you know, if there's one thing that that has been proven so far, it's that there is there is something to be said about the power of the human spirit and the human will. And one human can't do miracles on their own. All right, a, a, a mythology, a, a a fine story called Dragon Balls uh, taught us that. Um, so if you all here in the chat. Children of Earth, if you can lend me your prayers. And if I can remove this divider, then maybe we will summon the Fortress Maximus pack. Alright? I need to focus my skill. I need to concentrate my chi. I need to form my chakra. If I, if I concentrate on what I read about the Kama Sutra... Then I think, I think, I think, it's, uh, uh, it's moving, it's moving, uh, yeah, oh my god, I have never, I've never committed an act of strength like that on a YouTube stream before. It's, wait, that used to be the bottom of a card box. What is this? This feels like, this feels like a pack of cards of some kind. It's sealed, I don't know what's inside, but I can feel a seam here. And if I, if I, hang on, there's some words forming. If I hold, if I hold my palm over this and I remember what I was taught, um, in, in the art of, of telekinesis, I can sense... I can sense the inlaid language of the plastic. And I think it says sealed product not for resale. I mean... I mean, this just feels like a, a, a filler piece. It's a filler piece. It's a, it's a filler piece of plastic, but I... I detect a sort of seam across the bottom. Could this be a... Could this be a, a Titanic pack? Yeah, I should probably get rid of it. Well, that's been a good stream, everybody. Um, lots of recycling here to get rid of. Um, you know, always make sure that you're putting the stuff away uh, in, in, in an, as environmentally sound a fashion as you can uh, for your, you know, country you live in, your city, whatever the 
uh, the regulations are and systems they have in place uh, to protect the planet as best they can. It's a little thing. Obviously, anything that we do is infinitesimally small compared to, um, you know, far out there ideas like, you know, giant corporations actually taking action themselves and not trying to turn this into a push and pull of guilt and accusation putting citizens of the planet against each other. But, uh, nonetheless, whoop. It's good to do your part, you know, even if it's little, even if it's little. Um, anyway, I, I got this new box opener. It's a box, a box cutter. And, uh, you know, I got this dumb piece of plastic. I might as well see if I can, like, cut through it. Like, because this is supposed to be super sharp. So, let's, you know, let's give it a try. Just, now, do I, I'm going to cut down here. And ideally, you know, we'll split this and, uh, and it'll be a clean split. Um, so, just get ready. <coughs> oh, damn it. Okay, that's not the way I wanted to cut it. Um, ah, oh, crap. That's not nearly as good. Hey, there's something inside here. Hey, I think there's, there's like a backing card in here. Is it, wait a second, that says Fortre, Fortress, Fortress, Fortress M. What could this, there's no transformer called Fortress M. That's ridiculous. Is this like a, a proof card? Is that like a, one of the characters I didn't see in the spoilers? I, oh, is it a Fortress Maximus card? Holy moly. I don't. I didn't know about this. And it's a super rare? It's two super rares in this box? I mean, that's all well and good, but, like, what what good is this 4Max card on it? I mean, it's it's missing part of the art. This looks like it's an unfinished card. I, I, I don't know. I, whoa! Something just fell out of here. Hang on. What just fell out of here? Two more cards? Wait. Wait a second. Remember sometime earlier in the stream... It said something about removing the insert to summon the Fortress Maximus pack. It... There's nothing else on here that implies there would be a Fortress Maximus inside this box. So what... Did I get a chase thing? Or wh what's going on here? I, well, we may as well see what they do. Because, um, I mean, I guess if this was going to be proper Fortress Maximus then it, 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 it would stand to reason that this is this is Cerebros, but then if this flips over... Then does this go on here? And is, I think I solved this puzzle! That's a Fortress Maximus card! He's... If we add these, these star counts up, it's 5, 10, 14, 19, 20, 21, 25 stars. That's the star limit of this game. What a coincidence. Wow. That was an exciting moment. That doesn't happen to anyone else. I'm, I'm just really special. I'm sure some other uh, content uh, creators are going to start talking about, Oh, oh, I, I pulled a Fortress Maximus from a box too. Uh... We all know who did it first, right? We all know who did it first. Me. That's who did. No one appreciates a genius in their own time. And I've come to accept that because that means I'm a genius. Um, what a coincidence. I, I was going to throw this out. I happened to get one of these like giant uh, quote-unquote top loaders. And I think it, it's, it's not a perfect fit, but it's a, it's a way to get this, uh, to get this protected. If I was going to use it for like like game play or something, um, fold it down to the size of a regular. Oh, I can tell you. I have to go. F I don't remember where I put it. I did that to Metroplex. Uh, Gappy, you came here to ask is whether you're still interested in Glios. Um, what do I think of the Onel stuff coming after the highest? I've seen it. It looks really cool. Um, Unfortunately, the state of, of shipping stuff to Canada and the state of the Canadian dollar has made Glyos stuff something that I'm more spectating now. Uh, it's nothing against it. Uh, it's just, it's not as um, easy to throw in an order now as it was before. Uh, but I, I thought that the, uh, the, bot, the bot builds, the, the clear orange bot parts and Glyan build, I forgot the name from that, that drop, was super freaking cool. 
Uh, I missed some parts of the chat here. It's cool they gave me a free Fort Max poster. Shame it wasn't a card. You know, I mean, like, we can house rule this, right? Ah. Uh, water. Nectar of the gods. Uh, what was I going to do? All right, I wanted to share uh, one of the things I've been doing. So, uh, I've been I've been getting into solitaire games and I've been getting into print and play games. Uh, so I just printed this game off. Uh, this is a Kickstarter that's going on right now, BT Dubs that I'm I'm not associated with, but I'm a, I've joined the Patreon of the company that makes these games. I think they're really cool. Um, it's called Button Shy Games. So this game is like a solitaire game called Food Chain Island, where you make a grid of a four x four grid out of these cards. You shuffle them up and then deal them out in a four x four grid. And it's a bunch of animal cards, and the way the game works is you move the cards one at a time on the grid, and they have to move in order to eat another animal. And they can only eat an animal that is uh, one, two, or three values lower than them, like they say it here. The raccoon, who's number eight, can eat seven, six, or five. Uh, it's a really engaging little puzzle. So this is a print-and-play one, because um, on the on the Patreon you get, you get access to some, some print-and-play files. Uh, so I made this in the meantime until I get the real version. Um, but the way I've been printing playing stuff, so I found out my printer can print on 80 pound cardstock. So this is 80 pound cardstock that is then laminated, then I cut the cards out with a cutter and a corner rounder thing. And they got some real good flick. Anyway, this game is really fun. Um, you also get two water animals, and these are like on the side, it's just one use powers you can activate at any time. Uh, it's a really good puzzle. It's a solo game, it's by Scott Alms of Tiny Epic insert word uh, fame. But the company Buttonshy, their, their physical games, they sell everything as Britain plays, but the physical games they do, they do them in these wallets, and they're so friggin' my thing. They're always 18 card games, uh, and so these are the proper, like, you know, ones you can purchase in physical. Uh, this game, Sprawlopolis, is awesome. You can buy the print and play PDF that you print out and cut out yourself uh, for like three bucks. Um, this is the, the wallet, which is, I think, like, 12 bucks. This is the $20 version where you get all these little, like, expansions with it. Uh, like, Rectar and uh, Urban something or other and uh, construction cards. But this game is super fun. This is one where you're, like, you shuffle the cards, you deal yourself three of them. Those are your, your scoring conditions. And then you, you draw the rest of the cards. Uh, you draw three and then draw one at a time as you lay one down. And basically... You're like laying these cards down to build a little city and so you can just lay them next to each other they have to always be in this orientation and you can also put them on top of each other without i think you can't fully cover one and you can't tuck it underneath but you can like put this here you can put this here um and then the scoring at the end of the game is like if you drew these three cards you'd have these additional scoring conditions and then also you get one, you take the biggest block you have of connected uh, adjacent tiles of one color and one point for each of those from the biggest block, and then minus one point for every road. So this would be minus four points, but then if I put this here, it'd be minus three points because now it's three roads. See, like this one connected that one. Anyway, it's a really hard, just really deceptively hard game, incredibly fun, super fast to play, and then like if you buy the wallet version, these friggin' wallets are the coolest. Uh, and then my understanding is that these wallets are actually less expensive to produce than boxes. And I'm like, well, that's great because these wallets are amazing. I don't know. I think this is really cool. It's like screen printed on the top. So their Kickstarter right now is for the wallet version of this with like two little, I think it's an ex two expansions that are like three cards each or something like that. And then they got tiers where it's like, there's a tier where you, you can, you get that game and you get Sprawlopolis and Tussie Mussie, which is their other big game, which I have coming on the way. That's one by Elizabeth Hargrave, who did the game Wingspan that a lot of people are really liking. Tussie Mussie is a, is a, so, it's a, it's a competitive game with a, a solo mode add-on where you're, uh, you're, you have cards of flowers and you're like arranging flowers, um, that are either like on the table or in your hand. And that's like, these are the bouquet and these are the, the, the token, the gift flowers. Anyway. Uh, these wallet games are super cool, and this print and play stuff uh, has been super fun to get into. I want to play a game of this on here. This game runs real fast. So let me just clean up my mess. So 
I just need this middle space and then I can run it. I just also want to see how it feels live streaming playing a little wallet game. This is for me more so than for anyone else. <laughs> but that's been my... Whoa. What was that? Oh, that was my thing of paintbrushes. I gotta pick that. It's a sealed tube of paintbrushes, thankfully. But my mantra I've been trying to, to stick to of late is do things that people will enjoy, but also focus on doing things for myself that happen to be things that hopefully people also enjoy. Yeah, I don't know where that thing went. So, the way this game works, you got the water cards. These are like, I just put them off to the side and when I use them, I flip them over. Uh, so you take these. And I found I can get a bit of a Pharaoh shuffle going. Uh, riffling these laminated cards is doable, but with, with like 18 cards, there's not much to riffle. And you can also do this, but it's, I never feel like this is really actually shuffling them. I need to be able to, to Pharaoh shuffle. Riffman says you got a peeping out back. I don't see him. Where is he? He must be well hidden. He rolled high on his camouflage. So I'll deal with myself with my grid. Let's go across four times. Uh, have we got enough room? Almost enough room. Okay. Slightly, slightly off screen. Ever so slightly off screen. All right, and then you kind of just stare at this for a second and go like, well, what do I want to do? <laughs> uh, where's the polar bear? There's the polar bear, okay. So, another thing about this, whenever one of these animals eats another animal, you also fire off their ability. Some of the abilities are helpful. Like when the spider eats something, you also then move two animals one space each. Uh, it's not a you may, it's a you have to. But then stuff like the lion, who's higher up the chain, on your next turn, the animal must eat an animal valued exactly one less instead of one to three or uh, less. So the higher the value you go, the more that these interfere with you than help you. So it's like trying to figure out, do I want to just start like going through a bunch of things? Like up here, I've got seven and six, uh, but they both have really cool powers and it'd be nice to save them. But also I have the raccoon here who could just go like bup, bup, bup. Uh, but the raccoon gives you a bonus if the next move you do is a animal eating one that is one less. So it's like, don't want to do that. And then I got the zero up here and one and two are down here. It'd be nice to use the snake's power to swap that over there. And then I'm eliminating the bat. And the bat's fun because whenever he eats, it just moves to any other space. But the bat doesn't really need, doesn't really need to, right? Let's just do this. We're going to do the snake. Snake on bat. All right, swap the location of two cards. I will swap the plant and the fox. Also, there's a spot outside of, of this thing as well. Like, if you want to move a card one, you can move it here. Uh, it's You think of it as a grid. All right, so now... Hmm. I thought I had a plan and now I'm like staring. Where's the diagonal one? Okay, the fox up there. Okay, okay. So, we're gonna say the ant eats the plant. The ant says move one animal one to three spaces. So we'll move the snake there. And the, we're gonna say the, the raccoon eats the snake. If the animal I move next eats one direct, like that's valued exactly one below. I get to discard an unstacked animal of my choice. So we'll say the fox eats the raccoon, and I get to discard an unstacked animal. Getting 14 here over to 13 seems like it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to discard 14 and just take them out of the game. Uh, the goal, by the way, is to, is to end up when you're not able to do any more moves. If you have three stacks or less, you win. 
So now, on your next turn, the animal must move diagonally one space instead of orthogonically or whatever. So I have to do a diagonal move, and I thought I had one in mind. I, ah, here we go. Okay. The tiger eats the wolf. On your next turn, the animal must move two spaces to eat. Perfect. The spider eats the ant. Spider says move two animals one space each. So... I'll move you one space. Uh, move, who else do I want to move one space? Move you one space? Okay. Okay. Yes, we got a chain here. The rat eats the mouse. Move one animal two spaces. Um, one, two. The rat eats the lizard. Move an animal two spaces. One, two. Uh, oh, I'm so close. Okay, yes. Tiger eats the gator. On your next turn, an animal must move two spaces to eat. So we'll say one, two. Polar bear, top of the food chain. On your next turn, you cannot use the polar bear to eat. That's fine, we'll use the rat. Move an animal two spaces. Oh no. I played myself. One, one, two. I have to move two, though. And I can't go a diagonal. Damn it! I lost. I st I'm stuck. No, wait! I have these. Okay. So I have to move an animal two spaces. This is fixable. There's still questions about the timing rules. I see these as interrupts, like in Magic. I'm still waiting to hear clarifications otherwise. Because if I move this, oh man, how do I do this? I can win, I can get it to three stacks, but I want to get it down to two stacks. Uh, I can only get to three stacks. Okay, I'm going to use the whale. Move an animal to any other space. Oh, and then I'm going to do the move two spaces. So let me go one, two. Right. Because I'm going to use the shark, where an animal can eat uh, any smaller value. And then we'll just do this. And I get the lowest level win. Hooray! I've gotten it once I got it down to one stack, everything under the polar bear, and I was hype. Anyway, that's all. I wanted to try doing that on camera. Uh, I am enjoying this little game. So that's all I had planned. Those were my, my grand designs. I don't know if anyone's still here. Okay, I missed a bunch of chat. Uh, rat eating mouse sounds like cannibalism, maybe. Uh, Nagito, yeah, it's a fun puzzle. This is, this is, like, more brain work than I thought it was gonna be. Um, besides White Prime 606, wondering, uh, what I think of Amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tex. I used to really like the old Yamaguchi series. Amazing Yamaguchi, I messed with Spider-Gwen, and it's fine, but they still feel old to me in a very specific way. Like, if you like how they look, they're probably solid, but, um, yeah, no, they're not, not entirely my thing. Now, I like Yamaguchi a lot. Uh, Eric, didn't see any upgrades. I don't know what that's in response to. Baltan, that was cute. Uh, see, I have Earthrise Optimus, Wooddite, uh, Wood, 
I'm trying to figure out what WDYT is. Um, will Daryl yeet that? Um, what do you, what do you think? Oh, I like him. Uh, I, I don't like the trailer at all, but I like the figure a ton. So he's very like, I like him still. This is not a Voyager. This is a Voyager Plus. There's more than a Voyager in here as far as production value. So I can't just say, oh, I just want this and not the trailer because they used the leader price point to accomplish a couple specific things in here that I would not want to lose. But I don't like the trailer at all. I think the trailer sucks. Uh, it's very, it's not bad. It's just intensely boring. And I never want to see an 80s Optimus Prime trailer again for at least 10 years uh, between MP44 and this. I'm just so sick of that useless box. Um... No, no, no worries for using text slang. I just hadn't seen that one before. <laughs> and then I got... I'm a little sleep deprived, so I got excited to try to figure it out. <laughs> uh, Ronnie Lane got here and missed most of this. Don't worry, there will be an archive. <laughs> um, the All Might they're doing looks almost perfect. I'm guessing that's Amazing Yamaguchi. Uh, yes, Daryl will yeet anything. Daryl should definitely yeet that. Yeah, Blackhawk, like, I'm fine for it this one time. It it should be there this one time, but also it's like, it is almost cynically the most boring iteration they could have done barring putting two arms on the, the command post and making it removable. So it's like, it's a little Johnny Five that's walking around. Yeah, Sideswipe Prime 606, I love the old Rebel Techs. And I don't dislike Amazing Yamaguchi. They just feel... They still feel like the old Rebel Techs to me, so my own tastes don't get as excited um, by them anymore. I thought I'd like them more. Like, I, I picked up the spider Gwen because I was like, oh, spider Gwen, spider Gwen's cool, and I want an amazing Yamaguchi, and then I was like, yeah, she's she's all right. And then, like, I don't know, I, 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 uh, I was like, maybe I'm just not, I'm not connecting as much. Daryl Yeatman. Uh, what was for dinner? I, I don't know. What was for dinner? Yeah, I'd like to see the cell shading on this, because the, like, the cell shading turned out. Like, this worked. And so, yeah, seeing this applied to this would be really cool. I'm curious as to the logistics of being able to release this on its own. I suspect if cell shading happens, it would still have to be the trailer, and, and thus still be the leader price point. Unless, I don't know, I, but also molds have, like, it seems like they're... They have more segments that can be removed, so I don't know. I'm 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 very much not a person who's ever made a toy. I'm just I'm making a bunch of guesses. Griffman, same thing happened when you got some assemble borg a while back. Yeah, I bought I bought two assemble borgs um, when they started to become more available on like HLJ, and then I stared at them and I was like, I was like, crap. I think I like the idea of these more than I actually want to mess with them, and I think they're super freaking cool. But like, I was not connecting. Uh, John Hanford, anything to bear in mind with MMC Azalea? Got the Ox Colors version coming in tomorrow. Uh, I think MMC Azalea is, like, still one of my favorite transforming toys of the last, like, five years. The only thing to really worry about, it hasn't happened on mine, but it happened on my Shadow one, because I let them, I let too much dust accumulate and dehydrate the, the wheels. These, uh, tires are just silicon O-rings, uh, and on the Shadow one, at least, uh, I had the, some disintegration happen, and it's happened to other people, however... These are literally silicon O-rings. You can buy a box of them at a hardware store and replace them easily. I was going to go and buy a box to know what size to get, and then lockdown happened, and I never did. So I still got to do that. But it's a super easy thing to replace. Otherwise, this is just a, this is just a very good toy. I'll see you later, Nagito004. Thanks for coming by. Um, I missed something else here. Uh, Percy Constance, have you heard about the recent updates? The last MMC DJD are going to be coming out soon. Uh, excited. Yeah, I saw that they're, uh, they're doing another, another, I'm actually excited for other people that they're doing another run. I mean, of, of all the ones that came out, but specifically their Tarn is a very good toy and I'm glad that Coltor is getting yet another reissue run. Um, otherwise I'm just waiting for them to come out and then figuring out if I can afford them at some point right now my main focus for spending big money on big toys this year is the ocular max bruticus because um, it's same design uh, stuff as this and I love this and so I, I picked up their onslaught when I really shouldn't have 
um, the other week, and I love it. So I, I've decided that like I'm probably gonna love that thing. I've got to I got to hold the test shot of a whole Bruticus for a, a hot second, and uh, and I really dug it then. So I, that's where I'm kind of focusing right now, which means MMC DJD are like the last ones coming out are all as expensive as Incursus, and so I'm like, well, I gotta I gotta pick and choose for a little bit, <laughs> but I do want to pick them up. Uh, Jelly Clockwork, speaking of Earthrise Prime, again, what do you think of doing a dead version with a new head sculpt? Like, sure, I love dead Optimus, because it's like, it's so morbid, it's a corpse. It's literally, we're manipulating a dead body, like, what's this? <laughs> or, uh, sleep mode. Uh, Ronnie Lane, I know you're total salt for NECA toys, have you given any other TMNTs a look? I've heard they're good, but I want nothing to do with NECA toys, um, myself, as far as spending money on them. Uh, but I've heard that they're all right. I've also heard that, you know, NECA ass stuff has happened with them as well. So it's, you know, you, you're taking the risk when you buy NECA. You know what you're getting into, hopefully, and you take precautions to free up joints and etc. Um, still waiting for Big Bad Toy Story to get our factory's Dragon Megatron. Let's, oh, you want to see Incursus? He's in the other room. He's in the other room. Oh, is he? No, he's in the other room. He's in the other room, right? I, oh, I was going to do the packaging shot, and then I did this instead. I put him back in the box. <laughs> Uh, I want the MMCRC, you want to get the original colors. So this is the first pink one, if that's what you mean. I have this, the first release and the second release was Shadow, Convention Exclusive, and then this one. Those are the two I have. Eventually I'd like to own all of them, because I think this toy is, is a piece of art. Uh, Percy Constance, Onslaught Shoulders. I've started doing the thing of like untabbing the back or pulling the bottom telescoper out and leaving the top kind of sitting there a bit. It's definitely the weakest part of the figure. Uh, just because, yeah, they're kind of in the way. You're only ever really going to get like 45 degrees either way with the biceps. So he's he has poses. He just doesn't have double-handed rifle poses, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, the, the bicep articulation is, is a huge limitation on him. You can also just pull them and have them as flaps. And that's fine. Like, I did that too, but I like how stonky he looks with them tabbed in. Uh, I think Earthrise Scorponaut looks neat. I still haven't got Omega Supreme, and that's scaring me, the idea of there being two Titans I don't have that I, I'm kind of into. Uh, but I'm also trying to teach myself to stop thinking FOMO. I, I'm always just brimming with fear of missing out, and I'm trying to... Part of the reason I haven't, like, just dove on any Omega Supremes is because I want him on sale... And, and I'm gonna stick to it, damn it. Uh, subtitles are, I don't know, you know, we're just, we're just co-workers. I don't know what the, I don't know what they do in real, in, in, in their life, when they're not in the office. Uh, Paradron Medic version, yeah, I kinda want that one. Uh, Sideswipe Prime 606, no worries, bombarding. <laughs> um, Sentinel stuff has always kinda been that expensive, so it's not really a surprise to me. Um, like, like they, they do work on the metal build Gundams and things, so like, their, their price ranges have always been a huge wide swath the synthetic human 112 scales are still pretty affordable so I, I, I'm, I'm totally fine with what they're doing uh, Percy Constant did the floaty thing as well okay Shadow Ryu you do mean this one you just haven't found a shop within stock okay I hope that they reissue this one because it's like nothing against the ox colors I just I don't like the stiletto heel design as much as this design and I want this one to, to be around more. <laughs> uh, Eric, I haven't heard any... Personally, I haven't heard anything bad about the Iron Factory Beast Wars Megatron. Um, but I, I've... I've only really seen, like, folks who got it and said, Yeah, it's cool! And, like, that's it. So I've, I haven't heard anything bad. Uh, no, nothing jumped at anyone of, like, Oh no, something terrible happened. I want to get your... I want to activate your breasts. I remember I figured out how to do that without having to pull your breasts off. How did I do that? Oh, I remember. Here we go. Oh, wait. It's up or down. It's down. Okay. Breast on. Yeah, here we go. Mmm. Uh, 
I've missed a bunch of stuff again. Ron Elaine, right, recommendation to someone who wants to taste third party transforming for under 100 bucks. So, third party companies, one thing I should say that I think sometimes gets lost here and there is like, there is no real just the third party experience. Every single company, to a certain degree, is their own experience. Uh, so, the under $100 companies, I would say there's some reformatted stuff that was like high end under 100 bucks. The um, pocket scale things are all under 100 bucks, and like New Age's stuff, the stuff I've messed with has been super nice hand candy. Um, off the top of my head, those, like, you know, pocket scale stuff, whichever aesthetic you like, um, the under $100 reformatted, um, depends which one, but some of them are pretty solid too. Um, I'm trying to keep up with all this. I did not hear about the Gao 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 Seal Jigokin reissue, but, uh, or no, did I? Wait, I think someone did tell me. I think I looked into it to see if anything was different. I don't think anything's different. I can't quite remember now. Um, Aaron Axsmith coming in at the twilight hour. Metro Nui, there was an update. Where'd the sign go? Here. There was an update. The update is that I'm 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 gonna do a thing of him and him. That's what I'm working on. Uh, but then cards came in and they come out tomorrow, and I didn't want to sit on them until I finished stuff because I've been waiting for them for a while. So I streamed them instead, and I thought, well, I'll open with a deadly serious channel update about what I'm working on. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna deactivate the breast. I want to know how to do this blind. But I can't. Okay. Uh, I consider this, by the way, to be the iconic Bumblebee pose, so I had to figure out if he could do it right away. Uh, um, backwards name. What do you think about Iron Trans Star Blade Star Saber figure? I don't remember much about it. I haven't kept up with it. Uh, it's one of the, with third party things, I don't really have many opinions on CG reveals. I kind of wait until someone says what they're like in hand, uh, if it's a company I haven't heard of. Um, and I, I think I remember what that one looked like, but it's like, I gotta know how their production goes. Oh, Aaron, yeah, you wouldn't believe it. There's a giant card in that, in the new, at the bottom, there was like, it's crazy, I'll show you. They made a Fortress Maximus card? Like, it's unbelievable. They, there was nothing to indicate it, and then when I got to the bottom, there was like a cryptic riddle. And uh, with the help of everyone here in the stream, we figured it out together. Oh wait, no, there is the thing I can, I forgot, I didn't, I, I don't remember Aaron how your battle cards went. Uh, look what I did. I got some of that TFTCG finance. Mmm. Do they line up with the body? I think it did. Let me take a look. Oh no, yeah, the size is off. This is bigger than this. He's got a blimpy head. Oh, well, that's adorable. This one, I think, lined up. Yeah. Proper. Uh, cross silhouette Galgagar model. Uh, oh, is that the one that's like SD to not SD? I've seen that one. I haven't picked any of those up. I I I feel like the gimmick on them. I think they look cool, but also the gimmick on them is kind of like. It feels less like they're changing aesthetics and more like literally they're like yeah SD. We removed the parts of the arms and legs. <laughs> But the kits do look cool. They have them at, at EB Games around here. Shin Furbis Brown Deus got Terminus Hexatron for under a hundred. 
Yeah, for under 100, that's uh, that's a solid one. Um, why, I don't want to... Hang on. I scrolled to your message, and then it gave me the admin controls, which were all scary, but I managed to close them. <laughs> uh... So, yeah, I feel like Cross Silhouette, I'd like to pick one up sometime, but I'd probably just pick it up for the full body mode as a little model kit action figure less so than the the gimmick I have for Aaron this is the the super rare and the money Did I say Aaron or Eric? I, my brain immediately said, oh, you said Eric, but I was like, I thought I said Aaron. Both of you look at my cards. I know you're, you, Eric, you were here for the whole thing, but just keep, keep looking at my, my cards. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what do I think of Evangelion? Uh, I, I've still never watched it. I think that the, it's cool designs. I like, I, I very much appreciate uh, the nature of what it is to the creator, because uh, I, I like Anno a lot, and not for Evangelion <laughs> necessarily. I just I like him as a, as a, as an artist. Um, so I like what I like what Evangelion is for him as a, a thing that became cathartic to some degree. Uh, sadly, also destructive. Uh, but other than that, like yeah, it's cool designs. <laughs> put my print and play game back in my little bag that I got getting board games means I'm I am laden with these really nicely sized ziplocs what are good for putting print and play games into does Roadbuster have a tarantula's head uh, Percy Constance says oof so do I Wow. Too soon. It's actually not. It's been a while now, but still. Uh, Elson Kuzmoria, what do I think of Super Sentai now? The recent ones. I haven't really watched Super Sentai for a couple years. Uh, nothing against it. It's mostly the, um, what is it? It was primarily the, the, uh, the seasonal patterns. I was getting kind of bored of them. Um, and I think there's nothing wrong with the shows. It's not like the show should be doing things better or anything. Uh, I just haven't I haven't felt the urge to watch a whole Super Sentai in a while. I watched the first like six episodes of Lupin Ranger Pato Ranger and I enjoyed it. I like the style. Oh, Grimlockamus, hello! Yes, I got a Super 2. There, it was late in the box, so I was actually getting kind of hyped that I might be someone who would have no Super Rares from Wave 5, because it seems like that might be less common. Uh... And I was like, that could... Well, actually, it's not... You're still going to get a box now and then without a super rare, I think. Uh, mathematically, it, it, it has to be something that happens to somebody now and then. But I thought it'd be funny if out, out of the opening um, promo boxes, if I was like, mine is the one that didn't have a super rare. I'm special. A friend of mine put this up on Facebook ask you guys quickly have any of y'all been doing any new hobby things in light of being if you are and you might not be and that's that's understandable but if you have been stuck in for the last couple months if you picked up any new hobbies and do you think you might stick with them uh someday in the future when we are um bumping flesh again Also, the reason I want a real printed copy of this is that they get their physical cards done with linen finish, and oh, it Pharaoh shuffles so nice. EFSF Gaming building a fusion cannon out of cardboard. That counts as a hobby. That counts as a hobby. Ben Harvey improving 3D printing game. I want a 3D printer. Minus 10 for the bumping flesh comment. Eric, come on, that's what we do when we play cards. We bump flesh. 
We slap meat. We <laughs> Uh, Ronnie Lane's got you back into stuff you haven't done in a while, like fan fiction. Excellent. Baltian, you're streaming webcam magic. Hot damn. Griffman, too many hobbies as it is. I feel you. I picked up one, but also I feel you. Uh, Percy Constant's been bike riding. Uh, not sticking to it, but never learned, and it's been rad. That's awesome. Uh, Shadow, are you trying to get better at painting? Like, that absolutely counts. Wearable cardboard fusion cannon. Hot damn, hot damn. Uh, Silver League, just moving con budgets into checking off figures. Excellent, excellent. I was, someone else said, said this, I think it was Hoopla, said something that made me think like, hey, conventions aren't happening, but if you had been saving money for a convention, then like maybe even if you wanted, if you want to do it with perfect timing, wait till around when a convention would have happened, then like buy yourself something nice and make that like, this is my, my, my virtual dealer room hall. I don't know. It seems like a thing. Uh, finish the third chapter of your Steven Universe Transformers crossover. Excellent, Ronnie Lane. Uh, Silver League got MP Soundwave. Hot damn. Joe Bob Bob learning Blender. Holy crap. That would hurt my. That would hurt both my lizard brain and my human brain. Uh, John Hanford picking up old hobbies again, specifically model, model building. I think that counts. I think that counts. Um, Elson Quismorio went back to handheld gaming. Uh, yeah, like, like, we're all, I think it's not uncommon for it to be, like, day one of lockdown. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I can do this, this, and this. And then, like, you know, two months in, it's like, I have done none of those things. And instead, like, I'm doing something completely different. I think it's, it's completely understandable. Uh, brains are in a weird state right now. Uh, Metro Nui finally got around to learning uh, to mold with epoxy putty. Nice. Lesser Krem Nozlik got a slot car track. Um... It's fun for a week. Now you have a slot car track. <laughs> Beyblade Burst stuff, Silver League. Uh, so that's why Prime 66 not really a new hobby, but you've been trying to draw and 3D model more. Yeah, I think, to be honest, I think it counts if it's like, it's a thing I've done but wasn't doing, and now I'm doing it. Like, that's still, that's I think that's relevant. Um, oh, nice, EFSF, you built a PG. That sounds expensive. <laughs> Uh, Shouldn't Furbus Brown Deus uh, doing some more toy photos and art? It's schoolwork. If you, I mean, if you schoolwork, it's easy for me to say because I'm not the one doing it. You could see it as like, hey, it's a, it's a small anchor to some normalcy <laughs> that, that does not exist for some folks right now. Logos Minor, you can avoid going overboard like in your real dealer room halls. Yeah, if you have the chance to like fill a cart and then back away, I think also psychologically it like, <laughs> you know, you're less, less prone to go like, no, I'll take that too. Yeah. Oh, you give me 10 bucks off if I buy that $150 thing as well. Oh, excellent. Uh, Ron and Lane reorganized your Lego shelf and completed a PS1 game for your childhood. Gex. Very nice. I Reorganizing a shelf. My whole dream, I was like, oh, in this first month I can finally organize and clean my living room so it's a proper living room again. And take more things to storage and, and break down more boxes. And it's just like, it's like just the block. It is, this is my, this is what I want to do. This is, this is me having done it. The mat's my brain. And then it's just like, I think I'm going to do it. No! Like, that's what it feels like. <laughs> Getting better, though. Uh, I missed a ton. I missed a ton. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, I'm catching up, though. Grimlockham is hitting the... I saw you got the 3D printer, and, like, friggin' Between you and Piaw, I'm, like... I'm just waiting for 3D printers to be a thing I can buy for, like, 90 bucks Canadian on Amazon, like regular cheapo printers. <laughs> but I'm sure that would also mean the prints would be garbage. Uh, Logos Minor doing more reading? That's... Hey, I, I should be doing more reading. Um... Ronnie Lane, shelves in your closet. Nice. Chatter you, local cons doing an online event for a month in response. Excellent. I love seeing conventions doing, uh, moving into online things. And, like, I think it's, like, something not that maybe should not be dropped necessarily somewhere down the road. Like, you know, not, not replace necessarily conventions, but, like, virtual meetings are, like, like, those things are, are still really cool. Uh, there's so many things where it's, like, we could have always been doing this. <laughs> Uh, John Hanford thinking about it, getting some board games, Aegis, and Book It. I have Aegis, I still haven't played it, but uh, the, the, the guy who made it, uh, I love his attitude. I talked to him at PAX Unplugged. 
I I have spent I have spent weeks. I got I got locked in on solo board gaming. I have researched just so much now. If anyone gets stuck like thinking, hey, maybe I want to play a solitaire board game, boy, if I got one million recommendations, I have a flow chart we could go down to figure out what you might want to play. If you're if it's you playing on your own, um, if you have folks at home to play games with, then there's a whole a whole other section of choices. Um, for spring and uh, seriously though, gotten into more Lego mock making recently. My friend Holly has like suddenly gone into Lego mocking, and I'm so friggin' jealous because I can't do it. I've tried, and like I just have a, I'm I'm I am the I am uh, I'm Will Ferrell from the Lego Movie. Like I, if it's if I don't have instructions, I just get lost. Like, I, just, I get analysis paralysis immediately. Um, Big Donkey One discovered Titans Return was a good toy line, and now have bought a bunch of them. Link into customizing Headmaster Junior bodies. Hell yeah. Alfie! Hello. First spring and recording mini discs! I did that back in grade 12. And then a little bit into uh, into years afterwards. I have some mini discs that are crammed full of live Rammstein performances. Uh, and I hand placed track markings into all of them. Uh, Metro Nui built some bonkles for nostalgia's sake. Peacemaker 2448, working on Excel and 3D modeling project while not thinking about my chances of getting a job fresh out of college. Good plans. Stay focused in the in the wonderful, positive present. Gex is vexed. I'll allow it. Silver League, moving stuff to Kijiji. I need to I need to start I need to update. I need to update my sales listings. And that's another thing. Along, it's it's like a chain of things. I should do my sales listings. Oh, it'll be easier to do that if I clean the living room first. I should clean the living room. Oh, I could uh, do that partly by updating more sales. It's, I'm a frustrating person to to live inside. Let me tell you. Oh, Zim Man had a uh, it sucks uh, had, having to do that because of a flood. Okay, Eric, it's a flowchart, but, like, it's not one I can make. It's one that I have to... We have to We have to walk through it together. <laughs> yeah, Baltan, it's like... I also... I see things that could shift. It's, it's hoping that... Um, folks who get to make those decisions understand that they should do that shift. <laughs> that's, that's the thing I'm hoping. Um, Power Core Combiner Review. Hell, I gotta do that some... Oh, crap. Those are all still in BC. Well, it'll happen sometime. It'll happen sometime. Um, for spring, and it's easier when you start with an existing set and modify it little by little. Yeah, I should... I really I really want to do that sometime. It, that's something where I want to... I want to break down all... I have a whole bunch of Mixels, and I never open them. And I should just... Unless the Mixels got rare or something. I always meant to like strip them apart and put them all into a tackle box and sort them and use them to build action figures. Yeah, for Springen, I had a, I had a Sony um, where you had to do all of it in the Walkman and it was at the time it was just fascinating to do. <laughs> Oh yeah, EFSF Gaming, your Lego expert Mustang fell off the shelf. Oh no. I'm sorry, by the way, that I'm going so slow through the chat. I'm doing it on this phone screen, and I don't want to... I'm trying to catch a bunch of things. Uh, ben Harvey, took you four weeks of lockdown to build the detolf and sitting in your room for a week. I had... In, back back in BC, I had a detolf sitting uh, near a shelf for literally years. Because uh, also, when they're flat-packed and up behind a closet, you can, you can forget they exist really easily. Um... A lot of catch up on on Plamo and Gunpla backlogs. That's excellent. Oh, Zim Man, yeah, I built uh, Galaxy Mega recently as well. Uh, that was really really nice. Definitely my favorite mini Super Mini Pla. I've, I've... Actually, it's the only one I've o I've owned so far that I've built. But I like it a lot because it's perfect transformation. It's so nice. John Hanford, um, I wanted to see the cinematic WrestleMania matches, but I can't find bootlegs that are watchable, so I'm still looking, because I heard that they were cool. Is ROTF Mindwipe uh, in BC as well? Yes. 
specifically I know I've seen the box he's in the last time I was there. Oh, I got Galaxy Mega at Fan Expo. Uh, you gotta grab the Bluefin version. They put them on sale sometimes. Actually, I can't remember what I paid. I'm gonna play Sprawlopolis briefly. Oh god. This isn't gonna fit on here. I have Sprawlopolis as a win con. This is not gonna fit on here. Let's give it a try. So roads that connect parks are good. Subtract my largest gray blocks from my largest orange blocks. Okay. And then I want add the number of blocks in my longest row and longest column. Oh god. So Sprawlopolis. I can't do that on here. I'm gonna draw a new one. I can do that. I can cheat. The strip! Commercial block in any one row. Okay, okay, that's that's more feasible. Yeah, the Delta is okay, but Galaxy Mega is the money of that set. It's fun to combine them together. Um, okay. So I want a big orange and I want a little gray. Hey, I gotta draw. I always forget to draw up. Ideally, I just have single, single gray blocks for this whole thing. And I sprawl hardcore. Oh no. Oh crap. I also want to get these blues going decently. Oh geez, the Bandai Intercessor, the Space Marine is that? Is that what you mean, Baltan? Is that 200? Oh god. Thumbnail paper's sitting in the corner. At least, yeah, here, let me get it topical. Our sprawl so far. Oh, man, I'd like this road to end here. Yeah, all right. If we get the road to end on greens, then we got something going on, is what we got. No! Drop my cards. I still got to see Pro Mare. Oh, Eric, Three Kingdoms has the promos. Okay. Good, good. McFar yeah, the McFarlane 40K stuff. Oh, my God. I got to ditch some of my Fortnite figures now that I'm kind of over the whole McFarlane made decent toys part of them, and he's making toys of things I care about more. Because uh, I need three of those Necrons like yesterday. Yeah, the Bandai Intercessor, 
Uh, I got an email from Games Workshop where they said, Hey, we saw that you had your set for in-store pickup. Since that probably is difficult, would you like to just have it shipped to you? And so I was like, yes, please. So hopefully I'll have that sometime soon. Man, okay. I have to give it up on some of these roads. It's not going to happen. I'm making more problems for myself. You finally have your wheat compound coming. Hooray! Double dose. I am playing me some Sprawlopolis at the moment. Wave sign. I'm assuming the McFarlane Necrons are like gonna be, you know, same price as normal Necron Warriors. Um, but. If I can get them, if I can puppeteer them to pick up and throw enemy models, then they just die as I throw them, is my assumption. for it. The ever-present Sprawlopolis riddle. Is it worth it to do a thing or the other thing? All right, there's my city. So here's how scoring works first. We take the biggest block of a color and add one point for each part in it. So I have one, two, three, four, five oranges here, so that's five points. The biggest blue is four, so that's nine. The biggest gray is one, so that's ten. And the biggest green is three, so that's thirteen. And then minus one for each road. So thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. All right, then we take our scoring conditions. So three points, I can choose one column or one row and get one for each blue in it. So this is my most blues. So three plus four is seven. Three points for every road that begins and ends at a park. So seven, 10, 13, so 
13. And then uh, my biggest thing here is four minus one, or five minus one, so four. So I scored 18. I needed to score this total. I needed to score 29. So I just got my ass kicked by Sprawlopolis. Happens a lot. I've only won twice so far out of like a lot more than that games. But oh, this game is so fun. Just building a little city. Anyway, I gotta take off now, I believe. So, um, if you're interested in this game, Button Shy Games is the company. The little wall games are cool. This is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, and I would, I'd recommend looking up Button Shy Games just in general, because I really like their stuff. Um, and Sprawlopolis is an excellent soloable game. Uh, this is literally a one-player puzzle game. This is actually a co-op game. You're you can play it with other players, but you're all just aiming to do the same thing. There's another game called Circle the Wagons, which is Western-themed, where it's like this, but, like, on steroids and competitive with a solo mode expansion. Uh, I have it, but I still haven't played it yet. I gotta try it out. Uh, anyway, the Deadly Serious channel update. I'll just say it one more time, now that we're at the end. Uh, it is that this is gonna be the next review I do, and I was gonna have this be the next video, but then the card showed up. I'm currently working on this one and this one at the same time. I also have shot an unboxing of the Golden Game Whatever BotBots thing. Uh, I have um, an archive of my Twitch stream of playing Architects of the West Kingdom ready to go live, but I want a toy or at least Transformers thing to go live first. Uh, I also have two Transformers TCG videos that I need to edit and add an intro to because they're pretty old, but I still want to put them up. I also have two gameplays I did of wa at Wave 4. I'm thinking of just putting them together into one gigantic, really long video with an intro to say, this is Wave 4 gameplay, but I still want to share it. I'm not sure if I will yet. Uh, and I thought there was one other thing I said, but I can't remember anymore. Anyway, that's the Deadly Serious channel update. Uh, I just find, whenever channel update gets said, it always has, like, really... Uh, negative connotations no matter what it means so I figured I'd just lean into it and make a scary sign um, that's you heard it here first uh, but yeah I want to do streaming of some of some games a little bit more uh, video games being r resurrected and I want to do some of it with actual like these games um, but I've also been uh, been playing Tabletop Simulator a bunch, and the thing I did on Twitch was a game I owned that I bought and played in physical solo that I then played solo on Tabletop Simulator. Um, and I, I want to do at least one more of those. I'm going to try to figure out if I can do Restream to have it stream here as well. But if I have to choose, I'd like to, to do game streams on Twitch if I have to choose and then put the archive here. Because uh, I still treat this channel as me rather than like a specialized topic. Um, whether or not that's for better or for worse, I don't care. But uh, so it'll it'll show up here anyway at some point. But yeah, it's that's just what I, what I would like to do. I also every now and then blink and ten days goes by. So every now and then there are long periods where I don't even notice that time has passed. But then suddenly I'm like, oh, it's the end of April. That was a week ago, right? No, next week is June. So that's where we're at. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm always posting on Twitter, so if you get worried if I've disappeared or anything, see if I, if I tweeted anything. Uh, also, you all probably don't have to worry about this because you saw this, but I was told that the way the YouTube algorithm works is that because I'm not posting constant, constant content, uh, content, uh, it, even if I post things, it doesn't show up for people. Someone said that they went and looked at my Siege Megatron review uh, because they thought I hadn't posted anything for nine months because uh, it had never been fed to their subscription page. So that whole system is is a, is a whatever you call it. But uh, I'm just trucking along, uh, doing my thing. And if you're here to stick around for it, then thank you very much. Uh, but until then, I'll talk to you later. Uh, take care of yourselves and stay safe and don't take undue risks if you can avoid it. And if you have to, then you are a hero. Uh, kick some ass. And yeah, just keep it together, y'all. Um, anything feels weird, it's supposed to. I'll talk to y'all later. This is where I don't, I, I'll say this every time, I don't know how much of this will be in the stream or the VOD. 
because there's a little bit of lag. So I'm going to push the X, and then we'll see how much of it bleeds through. 